Hey, what's up guys? I'm Ben, and this is Kame Trick. Welcome back to another stream where clearly my uh, video stuff is not in the right spot. I'm using the wrong scene. Professional. That'll do. Hey, folks! Welcome back. Jordan, what's up? Quinn, Max, the pro. Good to see you guys. Hello, hello. Um, I'm still not happy with how some of my stuff is placed, so I'm going to take a second and uh, adjust it while I chat with you guys. That's supposed to be up there. I don't know why that moved down. Oh, I know. I was recording some tutorial videos, and everything is apparently uh, moved. That's a little frustrating. This was more like that. And this is more like that. And then probably somewhere kind of in between. Roadrider, what is up, man? Yeah, sorry, I've just got to do a little bit of work here to get the stream looking how I want. And a sneeze, excellent. We're off to a perfect start today. I have no idea why that moved. I don't know. I deleted all of my stuff and, uh, and reinstalled it so that I could create a content manager, uh, how to install Soul, custom shaders patch, etc. How to bind your sim hardware to your content manager settings, like all of that. I'm, I've got like six videos I'm editing at the same time uh, to fill what I feel is a hole in the, uh, in the Drift community for... I guess folks who aren't like super accustomed to computer stuff. So, yeah, I've been keeping busy. Max, you are good at drifting. Thank you very much. I've certainly spent enough time trying to get good that if I'm not good by now, I should just give up. <laughs> Alright, I think that's decent. Does that look decent? I'm going to say that's decent. The pro Jojo while watching Kame Trick. <laughs> Soyo, what is up, man? Welcome back. Soyo is uh, on 90's Golden Drift Spot project. He's one of the designers who actually worked on uh, and brought us this awesome track. Alright, so we're going to go to performance mode because otherwise I will destroy my stream with the triples. And, let's see, I need to adjust, as always, our onboard settings just a little bit. Not sure I care for that. Something like this ought to do. That seems decent. All right, here we go. Huh, finally, just a tiny bit of technical difficulties. Cody, what is up? Oh God, another internet breaking stream. You know it, man. You know it. Oh, Star-Lord, what is up, dude? Welcome back. Jackstone, what do you think is the best and cheapest wheel and pedals? Uh, the cheapest is gonna be some Logitech gear. Help me out, chat, like, what is it, G25, G27? Best? is probably Fanatec, uh, assuming you don't want to buy direct drive. And then like actual, the the cheapest that you can get that's good for drifting is probably a Thrustmaster uh, 300 or T300, the belt drive ones. The Pro, yes, yeah, Soyo is one of the creators. He's part of the, uh, what is it, Soyo, a two-man team between you and Skyflight? That is 90s Golden Drift Spot Project. Noah, what is up? Welcome back to the stream. Good to see you. Yeah, if you guys watched the... Uh, the Tandem Talk video podcast, you'll know what the next track is that they're working on. Hey, Noah, how's it going, dude? How was your week?
Yeah, Chad actually knows better, Jack, than uh, than I do, so they'll set you straight. I'm trying to get my force feedback adjusted. That's not what I wanted. Yeah, I won't. Uh, I won't reveal what the next track is that uh, Okami told me about. However, I'm just setting a few things up here. Don't mind me. I will. Uh, I will let you listen to that. Oof. All right. So this force feedback is too heavy, and uh, it's making my steering really slow. Oh goodness! Don't ever delete all your settings just to make some videos to help the internet out. Nobody cares about the internet. Oh my goodness. Everything is totally weird. <laughs> John. Okay, I don't know about John. No, I'm pretty good. Glad to show with my drift buddies. Yeah, I'm doing alright. Oh. It was a short week at work for me. We got MLK Day off, which was really nice. Didn't have the best weather out here. Oh god, I'm rusty. But, uh, having a short work week always feels weird, too. I'm just not able to slide this 180. It doesn't handle the way that I like as much as the coupe. Oh. <sighs> Brooklyn boy, what is that, man? Um, I like Assetto Corsa a ton. And I'm actually better at it than this, I promise. I'm just uh, coming off of a little bit of a break. But on PC, once you install mods, it is really nice. It also occurs to me that the last time that I drove this track, I didn't have the triple monitors. And it's a very different experience on triples. starting to put a tolerable run together. This 180, uh, unlike the S13, which I'm driving like the S13 coupe, but it is a lot more slippery. Like, it picks up angle more freely, and so the things that I typically do uh, is causing it to, like there, steer out way more sideways than I want. I don't think it makes as much grip. Yeah, like I ought not to have been in the trees there. Oof. So don't mind me while I relearn how to drive this thing. Oof. Stance, what is up? Could you give a little context about the S13 model I posted about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I don't know if you're in the, uh, the Discord or not. At least, well, I'm going to answer as though I don't know if you're in the Discord or not, sorry. I always have a difficult time keeping folks uh, screen names across the different platforms straight. Oh, God, this is embarrassing. So if, um, if you don't have the exact same screen name, which are, some of you guys do, it takes me forever to figure out who's who. I don't like it. I'm going <laughs> to go back. Um, Shadowhunter in the Discord has some awesome modeling skills and... We are working together on uh, what started out as a desire to get a render for my car. And honestly, the model, if you put one together, will work pretty nicely in Assetto as well. So essentially, I have a plan to upgrade my car's styling for the IRL car. Some of it's a little, a little out there. I don't know how to say it, like, I have a, a slightly unusual sense of taste, and I'm probably going to make my car look kind of like a Gundam. I don't know. <laughs> so, that's actually halfway decent. So anyway, I, uh, I got with Shadow and asked him if he would 
build something for me so that I could kind of see what it would look like, because he's uploaded some really beautiful renders in the past. He was down, uh, and we may release that in a seto as well. But I'll be posting progress uh, shots as we go. Uh, I'm just not liking it. I'm going to try to see if I can't get a different car. That's just not making me happy. Uh, let's see what else is available. Oh, S15 is available. I don't think I'm a huge fan of it either in this particular mod, but I'll try it. I never even checked to see if my pedal cam looked decent. I should do that real quick. That's not bad. Boop. <laughs> A86 difficult drift time, is that what you found? Pop names up, see who I'm driving with here. How to drive this map, specifically the long corner. Kame, what is up? Urban Grit, good to see you, man. <laughs> In Soviet Toge, map drives you. Oh, Matt, so true, bro. Um, the pro, specifically the long corner, uh, which corner do you mean? Like, the corner that everybody does, like, man line on, and, uh, oh god, damn it. The corner that some people, um, link with Adamanji, that's like, here's my track map. The one that's like, let's see way down here this turn Canadian hey what is up dude I just got off the S15 because I was sliding out too much that is the same thing um, and hey Remo what's up welcome welcome back Cody I saw your message somewhere as well there it is um, Forza peoples yes actually I I was this close to buying Horizon 4 over the break they've got so many cars for that game holy crap I uh ooh. I just don't know where to start, to be honest. But I do want to uh, do want to do some Forza fun times. Right, let me see if I can not die. Totally gonna embarrass James and Peter in this Warthouse S15. Not terrible. Not terrible. I feel like the WDT cars have way more power, the street cars, than I than I remember them having. Which I'm sure is not true. Maybe the gearing? that I'll just go this way yeah like the pro is this the turn you mean the long corner the back section is kind of hard too especially because I didn't map a button for turbo so I can't turn the turbo up from in game I just realized kind of tiptoeing around the map right now go inside of him. Yeah, kind of tiptoeing around the map. I'm just not, uh, just not quite prepared mentally for how I need to drive this car. Let's get that turbo turned up. And actually, I might actually fool with the car a little bit. I never do this. Um, oh, well first of all we need to unlock the diff. That will help a lot. Add a touch of preload. Uh, where do they keep tire pressure on these? Trying to get just a little bit more rear grip in here. Um, tow of 30, where's our dynamic tow at here? I never fool with the settings. We've got a little bit of tow in. 
That's not bad. I would like a little bit more forward bite, a little bit less slidey bits. Okay. Hopefully that feels decent. Zach asks, Cody, for any Forza drifting tips? Let's see what Cody's got. The easiest way I've found for newer people is to set up for understeer and use lots of throttle to correct it. That actually works kind of okay in real life, too. Um, that random tandem map has me at 25 SPF, so I was so happy. <laughs> Uh, Canadian is in chat with us. He's, uh, he's working on a map for me that is basically taking inspiration from Shadow's map and, uh, adding in some of my own inspiration, and I think it's really going to be an awesome, awesome map. Hopefully, I don't know, maybe next Friday we can, uh, we can run it. Cody says, especially on Forza Horizon 4, it feels like the cars have lots of natural front grip. Don't run race tires, because, yeah, the race tires probably make the car too slippery. JoJo. You know, I never... I haven't been able to get into that show. There's several iterations of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, if that's what we're talking about. And if it's not, then LOLs. But, uh... Let's see if this setup feels any better. A couple times I've tried to watch it, I was just like, really? Like, you just got one guy who's a huge dick, and then like, another guy who's a super nice guy? Like, this is, I think, original JoJo though, so maybe it's different as they have other characters, but, I don't know. That guy seems like the bad guy, and it just seems like an asshole, and I don't want to. <laughs> too too one-dimensional, you know? Like, nobody's straight up evil and, and straight up not. Oh, I'm not doing any good yet. It's going to take me a while to, to get warmed up, I think. Sim Invader, what's up? Welcome back. Forza Horizon 4 is so much fun when it clicks, though, the ultimate arcade racer for sure. I agree 100%. Like, I care... What's up, Matt? I care about, uh, about realism in drifting games, but I feel like Assetto has kind of cornered the market on that. It's by far what I feel the, is the best sim drifting game available right now. But once you get past the... Uh, let's see, whoa, damn it. I always carry too much speed. Once you get past the... realism bit, I mean... Drifting is also supposed to be super fun. Professor, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> and so, yeah, anyway, Horizon looks to me like really just the ultimate casual drifter or casual racer. God dang, you have to use so much brakes, like foot brake in this car. It just slides for days. Kevin Sampson, what is up? Good day. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Oh my, Noah's going to do a full on PC build. I will tell you, for what it's worth, unless you want to get pretty heavy into video editing, you don't need to get the graphics card or the 32 gigs of RAM that I have. It's just straight up, like, not necessary to play Assetto and have it look really nice. At least, I don't think it is. God dang, I really don't care for this car. Uh, we'll see what else we can find. See, only two available. Boo. Fearsome Sim Racing. Hey, how's it going? We were just doing some uh, casual sim drifting, and uh, I'm not 
not in uh, a great shape at, at doing it, but having fun. You guys can always enjoy watching me relearn tracks that I don't know how to drive. What do I need to do to make this thing not be a raging turd and actually grip the track? That is the question. Oh, it's running rake. Well, no. If anything, I want reverse rake. And... A lot less rear bar. I don't know. Hopefully this helps. You guys never get to see me tune cars. Uh, let's see if this is uh, remotely acceptable. What have I missed? Now you all, hey, what is up? Welcome back. Yeah, man, we got a nice little community here. I'm always glad to see everybody. Okay, yeah, now it's going to change a little bit. Graphics are at minimum sterling 12 FPS. Oh, yeah, man, you uh, you can get a lot of a lot of benefit. Get you uh, get you one of those new Nvidia RTX cards or go. Uh, Go AMD. What is that, Radeon? If uh, if that's your poison. Okay, I changed this car a lot. Trying to dial in some rear grip. I made it softer. I allowed it to uh, lock the rear tires up. Or unlock the rear tires, sorry. Off throttle. Took spring rate out, took tire pressure out. All to avoid this right here. Like, I'm not going that fast. How come the car is just sliding all the way into the shrubs every time? The S13 coupe, I would have to push really hard to get it to slide like that. So, all the driving I've done on this track is in one particular car. Ryan, what's up, dude? Welcome back. And it's, uh... It's really throwing me off the this car has so little traction. I guess laterally, right? Like, I'm afraid to even go the fast course, because I can't even make it around here. Ugh. Fuck. Homer, sorry, single core performance is the most important for a setup. Very good. Sim Invader 1660 Ti runs 144 FPS while recording to a separate laptop. Yeah, that's true. I do stream on the same machine as I'm playing on, which definitely has some downsides. Nope, that's not acceptable. This is going exceptionally poorly. I can't wait to get a different car. Oh. Let's try the long course. Oh, no rear traction. We're just sliding all over the place. This is like, it's seriously like the car has toe out in the rear. 
Like, it doesn't have any desire to spin, but it just... Any time that you're sideways, god, I can't even... I don't even want to drive this. So, if you're going around to turn and drift... Turn off the volume here. There's a certain amount that the car, like, will turn while it drifts. And if you try to go too fast, the car will understeer while it drifts. Like, it'll actually be sideways, but shoot off the track this way instead of, like, cut an arc. Um, and this car... Maybe that's what it's doing? I don't know. But its threshold for not fucking turning while it's sliding seems incredibly low to me. Um, I don't know, it's weird. It just takes practice, which I don't want to do, because I'd rather just drive cars I like than practice cars I don't. <laughs> so it took me a long time to be able to link the course into WDT cars. I mean, in my video on it, which I made, like, last year, I was linking this track almost the whole time. I mean, I put it into the shrubs in the in the rear a few times, but it was cake. I don't know. Let me, uh, let me see what else I can find. Because, like, swear, if the S13 Coupe was available, I feel like I would just go around the track without any issues. I mean, I still mess up, because I'm not paying too much attention. I'm just chilling, but... Not like this. I mean, this is like basic turns. Short course is pretty much, uh, pretty much figured out. It was. Maybe, maybe being on triple monitors is throwing me off. But I found the Soarer. I've never driven the Soarer before at all in this pack. Kind of curious. I did not adjust the turbo. I'm gonna leave the turbos at full. Because why not? Full send. I have no idea how the force feedback will feel on this car, but we'll try it. <laughs> Upgraded from lawnmower to hedge trimmer. <laughs> True enough. Yeah, now you all, I agree. I was gonna say the, uh, the RTX 2060. Oh god. It's probably a bargain. Nope. Same problem. I mean, it's not a lot, but I have like six hours driving this track in the uh, S13. It just doesn't feel like this. So yeah, 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 like, if I don't have much lock, it grips up pretty well. Like right now, I'm not using that much. But when I come around this turn, I like to throw a big angle and do an angle stall down it. And yeah, I'm like 30% on throttle for some of that because I'm like right there. Normally, I would throw the car to angle harder. Ugh. Like, yikes. I'd throw the car to angle harder and use that to slow the car down and get on throttle and dig out from the turn so I don't go into the outside. But in this, I'm like afraid. Same with the S15 and the 180SX. There's basically one car from this pack that I like how much it handles so much, it ruins the almost the whole rest of the pack for me. Which is unfortunate. I mean, I can do it, but... I mean, look at my right foot. I'm just, like, scared of using the gas, which is not how drifting is supposed to work. And there, we just slid and slid and slid. Like, you could have just passed me on the inside. Ugh. Nasty. What's up, Doshi? How's it going, man? Well, let's go long course. Maybe long course will click better for my brain tonight.
S13 and 180 are what I use on Ebisu. Yeah, the 86 is okay for uh Oh god. 86 is okay for the short course. I want to link that without a manji. I have not done it before yet. Yeah, honestly, long course is easier because you don't build up all that speed that you do going down the uh, going down that last turn at short course. Like it's so fast, and that's one of the fun parts about it. But unfortunately, it's also quite difficult. <laughs> to third. Oh man, I hate when the cars grip up right there. It's like I just don't quite have the gearing and that little flat spot causes them to grip up. Yeah, long course is actually way easier because you just don't go as fast in most spots. And the one spot where you do, you're not, um... You're not having to contend with big angle. Like, you actually have to be kind of gentle. Oh, there's Noah. Blue Skyline, weapon of choice. for it and we're dead that seems that's way harder than it looks and actually it looks pretty hard I gotta be honest oh that was a bad time caught somebody now you all says 180sx is so good true chaser is the easiest of the DW cars yeah, the chaser feels pretty good. Oh, Jake, I missed your chat. Yo, Kame, I've been sim drifting for a while now, but I just got on PC and your channel's been the hot spot for mods and instructions. Keep up the good work. Hey, I appreciate it. Anyao. Hola, amigos. Hey, how's it going? Uh, bien, gracias. <laughs> I don't know very much uh, Spanish. Let's see. Yeah, no, Toge is such a good course. I will get in the chaser if I can. If this is casual drifting, I don't want to see pro drifting. <laughs> yeah, man, we're just chilling. Oh, I'm just going to be rooting to go around, y'all. All right. Well, I'm feeling a little bit more comfortable. How's the audio for the car, by the way? Is it, like, super quiet to you guys, or is it okay? Oh, jeez, there's so little fucking grip in this turd. It does sound good though. I like that sound, the like audio files that are put into this car. I got off throttle way too quick because that accident didn't want to hit people. It's funny, even in sim, I really try not to bash into people if I can avoid it. Logan says audio is good. All right, thank you, thank you. Try to drift on this track at night. Uh, I'm down. I think this particular server has... Oh. 
some settings that restrict me from uh, using soul to adjust it. I do need to do night drifting here. The pro, I don't plan to change track this quick. I know it's a challenging track, but uh, we got to practice to get better, right? But seriously, I'm like barely on throttle. Now granted, I am using 100% turbo, but these cars are supposed to be street cars and not that powerful. At least that's how I picture it when you tell me it's WDT Street. Do some big braking to keep the car under control. Maybe that's it. Maybe my brake pedal settings are like not correct anymore since I did reset everything and I'm just not like braking hard enough I took one second to kind of half-assedly dial it in but that could also be a factor with that in mind let's do the short course again and see if I uh, trim the grass quite so hard Yeah, I'm just using, uh oh, <laughs> real heavy foot brake, and that seems to help. So yeah, I think I could improve my braking settings a little bit, and I would be more satisfied. I still think this car floats a ton, but it's drivable. Canadian, I totally agree. The S13 Coupe is awesome. But basically, if I just use a shit ton of foot brake, <laughs> then I can go around the course like I'm used to. So I guess I'll take that. there. Alright, yeah, 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 yeah. We're starting to get dialed in. It is hilarious to me how little throttle I have to use, though. Alright, now that we've got it going a little bit, let's try it. No e-brake. Who's ready to die? Probably just me. So far, so good. We'll do short course first. And that means this is the hard turn. It's all about keeping the car balanced correctly. Alright, we got through the hard turn. This is another semi-hard turn. I more or less parked it. The line was good, but I timed stuff wrong. And I timed stuff wrong again. Logan, the Laurel. I do like the Laurel. Alright. Oh, no. Nope. I'm driving really weird because I'm doing no e brake stuff. Um, Alright. We need to try long course. Also with no e brake. 
I got most of the way through short before I wiped. It's just a fun little exercise that I like to do to challenge myself. Think outside of the box, consider the options for car control. Alright, so this turn will be hard. Yeah, if I, if I don't kill enough speed, the car won't behave right. But if I kill too much speed, it just will grip up. This will be hard too. Oh, yep. And then because I can't use e-brake to gather angle, if I don't commit to the right amount, I'm just screwed. We'll try to go around. Still no e-brake. <laughs> Alright. Not bad. Topher, I do remember how to pronounce your name. What is up, dude? Welcome back. Finally got my GT Omega Apex as I read chat while doing Toge course without the e-brake. I should get some sort of a brownie point for that one. Uh, we're dead. This is why you don't do Toge course without e-brake. If you grip up, you're just screwed. Finally got my GT Omega uh, Apex and using shoes, etc. I've been using my wheel a lot more. Cabs and feet are killing me and cramping. Tips on getting rid of the pain. Um, so... I mean, that's basic muscle fatigue, so first of all, don't get dehydrated. Um, stay on top of hydration with water and stuff. Second of all, um, potassium. Either naturally, like, you know, have some bananas, or uh, otherwise. And that's just general sports medicine stuff. Um, will help you to stay in better shape, as far as cramps and stuff are concerned. I seem to have this car figured out, so that feels good at least. I must have just had some rest I needed to shake off. challenges about left foot braking is that we can't uh, can't left foot brake and e-brake very effectively it's kind of a not very possible and so occasionally I get tripped up with deciding whether I want to uh, e-brake behind somebody or if I think I'm really gonna get close I prefer to left foot brake but sometimes that just doesn't work out well Nah, man, it's uh, it's good. I'm, to be honest, I'm mildly surprised that I'm I'm so gifted at forgetting how to pronounce names or like putting names with faces. Like I'll remember the faces and like cars of people that I meet, but so often I just don't have good luck with names. But now nah, I got you, brother. <laughs> Who am I even following right now? Somebody on Twitch. I can't read the usernames very easily when uh, the cars are moving around like this frequently. But that was sick. Solid slides? Good slides? I don't know. It could be solid. I can't hardly read. I think it says solid slides. In which case I remember solid from both chat, Discord, and I think last stream we drove some too. But that was sick. Proper backy there. Oof. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Man. I'm just gonna jump out. Ah. 
<laughs> Bonk. Uh, let me see what we've got in chat, because I got way, way behind. The Gaia cars are kind of rough visually, and it's one of the cars copy pasted. I, uh. I've gotten permission to drive with the Gaia guys, I just am never awake at the same time, and I need to practice toge courses, so. I'm gonna try to do some of that offline at some point and get a little bit better before I go do that. And I'll probably film when I do that. I don't think I'll stream, just in case. But I'll probably do an edit. Jake, did anybody tell you to activate Custom Shaders patch and or make sure you have purchased the Japanese pack DLC? Um, the 8.6 will cause you to get race cancelled and kicked back to the lobby too. Ryan, of course I've watched Initial D. Um, Devin, what's up dude? Hopefully I can get my computer up and going this weekend, that would be rad. Yeah, we'll be down. Hallowed brings back memories when I first found your YouTube and you happen to be live streaming. Heck yeah, that's awesome. Have I driven the Hakone Nanamagari update? I have not driven Nanamagari update. Snoopy, what is up? How's it going, man? Good to see you. Caliber, what's up? Welcome back to the stream. What's your favorite car pack and why? Um, I'm pretty partial to this WDT Street Pack, although I've been ragging on it hard because I've been driving terribly. But um, the S13 Coupe in it is sick. It feels close enough to my car that I'm pretty happy. It's got more understeer than my car does, but some of that could be that I can't feel the G-forces and so I'm not fully committing on transition and it's making an understeer like driver error, basically. But I dig it quite a bit. Regular WDT is also awesome. Tanner, I suck with my G29 and have no clue how to combine drift with it without spinning out. Some of that... Okay, now I'm caught back up on chat and I can look at the chat window over here. Some of that is just a matter of practice uh, and anticipating when the car transitions and helping the wheel counter steer. One of the challenges with Logitech wheels is they tend not to counter steer so hot. But another thing that you could do is uh, look at getting a LUT and see if you can't find some settings that will help you uh, get a little bit more positive self-steer out of that wheel. I definitely missed something that, that Hallowed's saying. WDT car pack doesn't work for you? Street? Huh. Doesn't work with my wheel. That's that's weird. Mike, uh Noah, I don't I don't think Mike is in here. Luigino Atsuri, hey! Thank you for the uh subscribe, I appreciate it. Thank you for checking out the channel. Welcome, welcome. No, uh, Mike is actually right now doing the Drift Week uh, thing with Aaron Losey where they're going cross-country. I think they're over in uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico now, or maybe they've left New Mexico and they're going to the next spot. Solid Slides. Yeah, he's cool. I haven't talked to him, like, audio or anything, but uh, we've chatted some. Josh Pulaski, welcome, dude. Thank you for checking out the stream. All the information that you need, car, pack, uh, track, server, etc., is all in the description. Josh to count zero in the server right now. Hopefully I don't mess anyone up. Hey man, you're fine. Oh, feels Rain Man, right on. Thank you for letting me know your other alias so that I know who's who. Yeah, we were just chatting uh, today during work slash school and whatever. Hello, my two favorite car packs are Tando Buddies and Gaia. Kapil, what's up, man? The sound effects are really well thought out. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 
My super chat sound effect is the only thing that's not initial D on uh, on here. And it's mostly just because like I don't expect to get super chats. I've gotten a few. Shout out to those of you who uh, have had the ability and, and felt like I am fun enough to uh, hang with that you wanted to support what I'm doing financially. But I'm always happy for any form of support, including eyeballs on the videos, likes on the like button, subscribes, and introducing my channel to your car friends. So do not feel obliged. But uh, yeah, I have a uh, totally unrelated song that plays a few seconds just for my uh, super chats. I don't know, I might try to get something drifting related. It just seemed oddly appropriate. Maybe we'll get one at some point on that. And you guys can hear it. Kind of, sort of, shameless plug? I don't know. I don't need the money. Money is nice. I don't have tons of it, but I mean, I can do what I want to do, so. I'm just happy to be here. Happy to have a, ooh, did I get a, did I get a boost? I might have gotten a boost. Oh, hey, that is Sean. Isn't that Sean back? Mike, I didn't think you were in here. I thought you were at Drift Week. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to message him. You know what? I'm gonna message him. We're just gonna stop. And I'm gonna see. Maybe that is Mike. Boop. One second. While we do the social medias. Oh, my bad, Mike. I'm not even following you on Instagram, which is my weapon of choice at the moment for uh, DMing folks. Oh, shit, that is Mike. <laughs> what is up, dude? <laughs> no, you're fine. Be about it. I uh, I didn't know who it was. I didn't catch your username. That's badass. But, uh... I mean, we'll have to chat later. Unless you want to get on, uh... Did I get stuck? No. Unless you want to get on voice chat. Um, that might be a fun thing. I like to do that with the peoples. Message me if you want to. I can, uh... You can hop in the Discord and I can set up a... Set up a call or whatnot. We can educate the people about the IRL and sim drifting. I always enjoy talking about the overlap and also about the, just featuring different folks in the drift community. Usually through the sort of podcast type thing I'm going to start. You guys should really see my screen right now. I'm trying to figure out... Ah. Missed it. I missed a sub. I'm so sorry. I, it doesn't show up on my actual screen, and by the time that I click over to, uh, to OBS, I sometimes miss it. Thank you, though. Sorry. So rude, the texting. Sorry guys. Favorite car in battle in initial D's? Um, my favorite battle in initial D is KSK versus Godfoot. That was just so epic. I really, really enjoyed that. The music too. Mm. Um, favorite car? It's hard to say. Um, Keisuke and Ryosuke's car is after the tune-up. Takami's car after the tune-up, too. Wataru is supercharged 
uh, 8.6. I had an 8.6 coupe that was supercharged, so I'm always partial to that. There's a lot of cars that I enjoy from that series. It's hard to uh, hard to pick just one. Star Lord, do you want to change for the S13 coupe? Um, yeah, yeah, I'm down. Let me see. We got 15 people in. I can probably get it. Let me see if I can't do that. Although I'm I'm liking this car better now that I've had a chance to drive it some. Let me see if the coupe happens to come available. There it is. The power of the computer internet. Check on my Discord too. Formula Drift fan. Yeah, it, this is a challenging track. Following people is the way to go. Oh god, the view though. Why is the view down here? Um, auto position? Not terrible. Reset. I'm like Japanese height. Which there's nothing wrong with that, but that is not me. Solid slides. Mike, we're all set to go. Watch me suck and be freaking terrible in this. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, right. I need turbo powers. And that's really all that I do. Just turn up turbo and send. It feels good to be a gangster. Oh snap. Who was that? Hello, thank you, man. I appreciate it. And now you guys got to hear my super chat theme. Cause uh damn it feels good to be a gangster. Hallowed Wolf Gangster AF. I appreciate that so much. Yeah, we're gonna keep on sending it. Honestly, as long as you guys are uh as long as you guys are watching, I'll keep sending it. follow Mike and show you guys how sucky I am at tandem. <laughs> Ryan, uh, there's more than one car allowed at once. I think there's like three for most of the cars. I have no idea. Oh, he's going long. Okay. We're going the long way. Oh man, this car grips up so much nicer. I keep wanting, oh god, I really want to not monte that section. No gearing. Some of it too is that the gearing for this car is just way different. Yeah, so now I'm like thrown off in the other direction because I'm underdriving this car where I was overdriving all the others because I'm used to this car. So right after I get used to the, the, the other cars, I'm now back to the one that like I was good at and I'm not good anymore. Uh, but like I'm carrying what feels like tons more speed and not completely dying I mean it's really jagged I'm not graceful like I like I prefer to be I need to cut a few laps and get my head my wits back about me here Howard Wolf that was one of the reasons I send it to you the super chat. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm just gonna bounce off of you. <laughs> All right, short course. Let's send it around this corner super hard. See, I need third so bad, and I went to third in the sore and just died. We're not going completely into the shrubbery there. Only a little bit, and I didn't even use the right gearing for that turn. Heavy on the foot brake, clutch kicking out. 
got into the weeds too much there. Cody says, looks like lots more speed. It's hard to say. The gearing is, either it's lots more speed or the gearing is different. Because like, the other cars, I could clear this turn right here in second. And here I've got to go up to third. And then around here I go back to second. Clutch kick out. I mean, I'm not necessarily driving better because I'm actively like readapting to this car. But you can tell, right, that I'm like pushing it way harder and throwing it all crazy compared to how I was tiptoeing around in the Sora. So much more comfortable in here. All right, we're going long course. So that means in this car, I've got to cut tight on this apex up to third to get the speed. Still failed at the transition right there. I messed that up a lot. Oh, I forget the clutch kick there sometimes and it wrecks me. Oh yeah, so much happier with this. Ryan Larkin, do you watch any Netflix shows? I'm running out of stuff to watch. Well, if you haven't already seen Hyperdrive... Oh, oh. <laughs> Holy shit. Punted. No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. That was aggressive as hell and I loved it. <laughs> oh, let's see. Just trying to check a few things. As we go. Mike must be on track somewhere. <laughs> Cody, for real, dude. Because I was inverted. Um... But yeah, stuff that I've been watching recently, um, well not recently, but Netflix was derp, uh, Hyperdrive was pretty cool. It was, it was a little funky, but I mean, I'm glad that it happened. I'm glad for drifting. Totally not pudding. Hey, am I late? Uh, only a little bit. Welcome, welcome. We're going to be on for another probably two hours. We, you got time. You got all the time in the world, dude. Oh, hi. -y. queue up the left foot or just transition too late and lose all of our proximity that works too that was totally on purpose oh shoot long course I wasn't ready oof ouch oof Oh god, that is legit Ebisu experience right there. Like, you just come around a blind turn and you find cars that are sideways in the road. Oh, uh, hallowed. For real, man. Team Rocket blasting off again. And I'm too old for Pokemon, but still, I have to make the joke. <laughs> I'm like over here trying to, why is my, why did I put my notifications way over there? I can put them right here, and then I can read them while I drive. You guys can't see it. It's a secret. 
but I can. Yeah, man. I, uh, I've had an R32 fly over the screen into me. Do I ever get fatigued after playing for too long? Yes. I play until I physically break every Friday. <laughs> it's, it takes me about three hours, and by... Oh. By hour three, I am not in very good shape. Alright, Noah, it's you. I'm gonna send it into your door by accident on the first turn and totally kill us both. Oh god, the foot breaking. I wasn't ready. That was all my fault, though. I should have driven around it. Just waiting on... Possibly? Nope, he teleported back, so that means he's probably right here. It's not. Okay, well. We'll just... Eight six is coming to Forza? Oh, dude. Okay, maybe I'll have to make that my excuse to get Forza 4, or Horizon 4. Putting, I want to play, but my computer is still being fixed. That is a bummer. Chase an urban grip. which way everybody was going to go and what they were going to do. Abisu Short Course actually looks really fun, but I never see people drive it in, uh, in videos. That was my fault. Am I going to be doing Toge the rest of the night? Um... We might switch to Manami, but I like to drive until I feel good about how, like, everything's going. And that is not how I'm feeling just yet. I've screwed around way too much. One second. Okay. There we go. Yeah, though, I'll probably... Oh, I left Discord up. I can't see out the entire right monitor. There we go. This is the most casual... The most casual stream. Oh, 
Uh, gotta get serious. Gotta get serious here. Running all over the place, sloppy lines. I can do better. You guys know I can do better, right? I promise I can do better. I might even do it. But not this lap. Oh no, a perfect coming together. Dante Tucker says, just out of curiosity, are there any sim players on console PS4? Oh, that's what I get for trying to read. Currently saving up to go PC in the future. Love the vids, by the way. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I think that I probably am making some people decide to go PC. As fun as console gaming is, it just lacks the content. Which is a shame. I wish that it didn't. I want everybody to be able to drift and enjoy it on whatever they've got, you know, like... And building computers is complicated too, like, not everybody wants to learn to do it. And if you don't do it yourself, it's pretty expensive. Logan says, I played a setup for PS4 for a long time, and it's still pretty good even on console. Yeah, I guess so. I guess I can see that. For me, I guess I'm saying specifically for drifting. I think vanilla Assetto Corsa for drifting is... I mean, I guess it's the best that you've got. I just don't think it's good. I do not like the Kunos official drift spec cars very much at all. Um, I mean, they're not terrible, but they're terrible compared to most of the mod cars that I have tried. Mods Assetto isn't really worth it. I have the PS4 version and PC. Force feedback. I can't drift and read still, damn it. I want to learn to drift and like read chat. That's all I want. What I, what you do is you put the chat box in one corner of the monitor, like where you tend to look when you're going around either drifting this way or drifting that way. I guess I could put it way over there, but I feel like that would be weird. Over here, I can like kind of glance at it in a right-hand drive car. Over there would be better for left-hand drive. Oh. It's hard to find a good driver on consoles, and there's no mo Yeah, it's it's gonna be hard. Yeah. So Noah, what I do through that spot, I come up in third gear, the turn that is going this way, where you could go to short course or stay on long. And then I transition, stay in third gear, and the part where, like, you transition and then you wiped out, when I transition there, it's e-brake to maintain angle, and pretty heavy, like, half-pedal foot brake, and I go down to second there. Uh, and once I'm sure I'm not going to slide off into the bushes like you did, then you get on throttle and you carry the rest around and it's easy. But, um, I can show you the, I can show you the timing if you want to follow me. It's like, don't get so close that it's distracting, I guess. And I know the audio will be delayed, but hopefully this will help you or somebody. So coming up through here, for me, on this car, it's up to third. Oh, do whatever to stay in through here. And then it's e-brake and foot brake, down to second on throttle. And if you do it too much, you eat the inside of the shrubs, like I did. 
And if you do it too little, you eat the outside of these shrubs like you did. But yeah, that's the gist. Canadian, can we change for the last hour so we can get some good tandems in? Yeah, sure. Um, where do you suggest? Sumi Pseudo Cart. Um, I was going to say uh, Manami, but that's not really any easier for tandems. Maybe it's easier. Ryan, you got to head out? Alright, dude. Well, thanks for checking out the stream. Appreciate you, dude. on something solid. I subbed and turned on your notifications. Hey, thank you. I appreciate it. I, uh, am getting ready to come out with a bunch, oops, a bunch of, uh, tutorial videos. Probably starting, well, definitely starting next week, and I'll release one or two a week. I've got about six that I'm going to be dropping, because I get a lot of questions about common problems that are pretty much solved by installing custom shaders patch. So I'm going to show folks how to do that. How to install Soul if you want Soul. Oh yeah, I was supposed to try to adjust it and do some night driving. Um, let me do that. Let me see if I can adjust it. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if we can adjust stuff. Yeah, I didn't think that I could. So none of that works. How's about this? Can I make it a different time of day? Nope. That's what I thought. It's locked for this particular server, so I can't do that. But yeah, I got some uh, tutorial videos coming out, and... Uh, oh, oops. There's Dooza. We'll follow Dooza. And I've also got... Uh, some regular footage I need to make, too. Now that I've got the triples, I'm pretty sure uh, a few folks have requested some GoPro point of view footage, which I can certainly provide you. Dooza just a little bit there. Not too bad. Parked it a little too much afterwards. And that's the eternal problem on this course. It's really hard to follow somebody without just having to park it. God, that bump messes me up. No, my bad for trash lead. Oh yeah, that's right, you are lagging. No, you're fine, man. Hallowed headed out for tonight. Glad I could watch you for a while. Keep on sliding. <laughs> yeah, man, thank you. I appreciate it, and uh, I'm sure I will see you again next week. 
and hopefully we'll have uh, the new track out that I'm working on with Canadian. Really, Canadian's doing all the work, and I'm just providing a little bit of uh, stylistic advice, but it's looking so good. Oh, I can't wait. I cannot wait to show it to you guys. We've got 90s Golden Drift Spot Project doing these super realistic, real-life track recreations. And then you've got me, who's like, all right, check it. It's sim drifting. It's in a game. Let's have tracks that would never exist in real life. Let's make some wild stuff, you know. And uh, I've got more stuff in mind that I want to make. If folks want to continue working with me on it, then it'll come to a reality at some point. But if even only this one gets made, it's going to be sick. Oh yeah, that's true. Canadian, are you on controller? Or like, sorry, sorry Noah. Are you on flight stick? Like, I was noticing in some of those demo videos that you sent that uh, the steering was kind of twitchy, which usually you get from playing on controller, and if that's the case... Oh god. I'm just gonna send it. Yeah, if that's the case, that might be quite difficult to, uh, to drive WDT cars. As I carefully take a really wide line at the end there so I don't double back into Noah because I'm a thoughtful lead driver. And if it wasn't a sim, oh god, I don't want to, uh, <laughs> don't want to wreck my car. Even if I'm in the lead, it's not my job. Where are we going? What are we doing? Getting punked. Oh, it must be time for a server reset. Somewhere it'll tell us the amount of time that we were in this practice mode for. 44 second cooldown. And that means Intermission. We can go to video chat background. The, oh, the one I need to fix. I'm just going to fix it during this 45 second intermission. How about that? Um, yeah, I guess I can. I can fix it. Fix it, Felix, over here. Oh, it's cropped. That's why it's looking so weird. Let me just turn that off. Oop. There we go, okay, that explains a lot. I thought everything looked a little strange. Yay, me at Ebisu without the beard. Yay, me at Ebisu with Australians without the beard. Shout out, Shembury. Jabs, what's up, boys? You guys probably don't watch my stream, but uh, it'd be rad if you did. And now all my monitors are gonna be jacked over here because I adjusted them thinking that nothing worked. So I've got to reset these. I didn't choose the YouTube life. The YouTube life chose me, boys. Why do I get the impression this is going to be awful? Alright. Try to get these the same size again. Oh, what's up, chat? Canadian says, controller when I made videos because I use an Oculus... Oh, Oculus with Fanatec wheel. That'll do it. I'm gonna stop for a bit, but I keep lagging into you. Oh, you're, you're all good, man. It's fine. I don't know why I'm doing that with the keyboard. Ah, uh, Josh, don't sweat it, man. We're all just here to chill. It is all good. Alright. We are in the process of rebuilding. There! 
everything looks good again. We've got a video background that's... Chat break is weird. I don't know why chat break is up there. And we've got triple monitor drifting. So good. I see. Okay, so, yeah, Canadian, you're fine to, uh... You're fine to shred on... On Sumi Sudo or something with, uh, where you benefit from having a wheel. Rain Man! Let's get after it. Which way is he going? Short course. I am Latreat. Super rowdy. I don't even know what was all what was all that about. I wonder how bad the damage is if you drop a back tire right there. Is that a totaled car? The Canadian says I saw this drift training school around Toronto, and all they teach is a J turn and 180s for 400 bucks. Man, that's not even a drift school. Honestly, that's like a stunt driving. 101 type of class. Although, being able to execute a good J-turn on command is tight. I remember when uh, Vortex came out to one of the events. You guys remember him? He's in basic training right now, so we've not seen him for a while. Oh, terrible. The Vortex came out to one of my events and we finished a, a run, and I forget why, but I needed to turn around, basically. He was like, hey, do a J-turn. I was like, okay. Just busted one out. I haven't done one in, like, six years. That's one of those things that once you learn it, you can just do it whenever. It's kind of fun. take breaks in chat, 45 minutes of VR drifting and a 15 minute break. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's one of the things I'm really stoked about getting triples. Like, God, I gotta figure that turn out. I wanted to get, uh, I wanted to get VR, but in a way I'm glad that I didn't. Just the fact that I can drive for hours at a time and it's super comfortable and chill. You guys can see my beautiful face. That's still wrong. Tora, what's up, man? Overslept, took a nap. Oh, dude, I almost crashed out. I almost took a nap last, uh, the last, I don't know, two hours before the stream started up. I was so tired. I always have, like, a lull in my energy level between getting off work and before I, like, get into anything for the night. Because I'm totally down to stay up until midnight, but, uh, <sighs> yeah, 
yeah, dude, what's up, man? That was not how I intended to go around that turn. Yeah, Tora, I'm doing good, man. Just, uh... Trying to... Sort of trying to put together a good lap? I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm, like, very absent-minded. Not taking the game seriously tonight. I'm just hanging with anybody who feels like chatting. But this is more of a just chatting stream than it is a drifting stream right now for me. fine but server has 15 cars so no we got room as I look over there when I'm turning over there and you see what happens yeah we got room ah. that's annoying this pit slot sucks all right I am free to cut some solo laps Sort of. Sometimes the wheels cut all the way, like this, and I don't realize it, and I just bonked into the shifting container and didn't feel like shifting into reverse. Another wonderful thing about sim driving. Just want some peace and quiet, man. Alright. somebody. Oh. Yeah, hop back in, Dora. Come join us. Be our guest. I'm going to sort. I have no idea where people come from. Like, I'm actively trying not to leave people, and there's like a thousand people jumping behind me from like invisible spots, which is fine. That's what we're playing online for. I just keep getting hit every time I try to turn, and I like want a little bit of just a mental breathing couple of laps that I can just drive the way I like to drive. <sighs> but I'm not restarting because people are behind me, I'm legitimately just fucking up. So I'm like, screw it, I'll just restart.
one decent lap. Still no decent laps from long course. My online name was talking to me because I don't drift slow, but I'll change it to Canadian. Oh, you're fine. Whichever one you want to. As long as I as long as I know which one it is. Would I ever consider doing VDC? Uh, I'd consider it. I don't think I'm any good, and I don't think I would be remotely competitive. But... I wouldn't be opposed to doing a virtual drift championship. I've done competitions in real life, and not at that, you know, level, but... At this point... I'd rather my car look nice and I don't have to fix it and enjoy driving it than I would have to fix it and not have seat time and have to spend even a dollar on repairing it mechanically. So I'm not real big on driving in comps IRL at this point. I've kind of been there, done that. I'd much rather drive at low stakes casual party events with friends that like I pick and I trust. And in general, like, aren't trying to, you know, get a Formula Drift license or, you know, win or prove stuff to sponsors. Like, if people are just chilling, you can tan them for days and not get into accidents. But if it's competition, it changes everything and people push, you know, really hard and there's no room for error. So, I like to drive a little bit different like fun tandem and not like versus tandem which is why if I were gonna drive versus tandem I would pretty much only do it in sim at this point just cause fuck having to fix my car uh uh <laughs> I'm a driver I can do mechanic work but I hate it grassroot digital took my car to paint and realized I no longer have a wheel to play on the sim <laughs> Oh, dude, I didn't think about that. But yeah, you don't have a spare wheel. That is true. Oh, man. That's all right. Being with me in spirit is excellent. Thank you for uh, stopping by to check out the stream for a minute. Now, a challenge that I want to do is try to figure out, well, hey, this turn right here always screws me up, because the car grips up right there on that little bump, which sucks, but try to figure out how do people link this turn down through here without doing a manji right there. That seems really unlikely looking at this. Like, when I see it on YouTube, IRL, I'm like, okay, yeah, I could do that. Like, it would be possible, but when I'm actually driving the track in sim, it does not seem like it flows that way at all. Well, this, these cars don't grip. You have to drift every turn, and if you try not to, you have to go so slow. But I want to see if I can't get set up to do that. I'm just going to go over there and try to figure that turn out real quick. Because you'd have to come in like super late. Like you'd have to apex like here. Nope, not there. Because you just go up the mountainside. But you get what I'm saying, right? Like you have to apex almost ride the outside and then dive in tight at like the last 
second in order to make all of that one turn. I'm not really trying to drift right now, I'm just trying to like get over there again without taking eight years. So like you're coming in, and I guess what you have to do is be outside and then dive in really tight here. And then somehow pull the e-brake and go over there. That just doesn't seem possible. Regular Panda, what's up, dude? Yeah, it's been a minute. How have you been? What have you been up to? What's new in life? I'm over here trying to figure out this one turn that seems really not so hard in GoPro videos that looks insanely hard in Sim. And honestly, welcome back, the pro. I should probably just watch more GoPro videos, because, like, I haven't watched it with an eye to figuring out how this stuff actually works. So I need to just practice that offline by myself so that I can not be in the way of everybody and I can stop on the road and look at it. So we'll uh, give up on trying to do that. It just doesn't flow, doesn't feel right. Everybody brings their own style to drifting. Mine is to flow and do things that feel right. Jump drift action there. Oh, sorry. I wasn't really able to follow that. Can I please teach me how to drive this map? And how to tune the car for the map. Okay, I can do that. So, this is a second gear map with uh, one turn that is third gear on the short course and two turns that are third gear on the long course. Um, basically, just get into second gear as soon as you can, try to follow the tire marks, and you do need an e-brake for this track, you're going to use liftoff throttle to cause the car to transition. You don't really do a lot of on-throttle stuff here because the course is so tight, up to third right here. And then you kind of have to choose when to come off-throttle, back down to second, and we got killed. Um, it's going to be difficult to articulate with people ramming into me all the time. But... Essentially all of this part is pretty much the same speed. Like you pick up a little speed, but not much. If you're in the S13 coupe, you need third gear for this turn. You have to slow down when you see the two courses kind of come together. That was my fault, I spun it out. And that, then past that, it's about how to do these hairpins, which is some foot brake, a little e-brake, and then a clutch kick back out. You have to get off the gas, though, when you clutch kick back out, because otherwise you'll shoot way into the dirt on the side of the track. So, like, it'll take some practice, I'm sure. like up to third, get sideways coast, foot brake if you go too fast. But here we're just chilling. And then when you come into these, it's going to be like a little foot brake, some e-brake, and then you clutch kick right here, let off, and get on throttle again. And again, the reason for that is because if you just stay on, you're probably going to go into the dirt like this and it's going to mess you up. That first hairpin, I, I still need to actually demonstrate. I've talked through it, but without being able to show it, it doesn't really matter what I've said. 
So let me try one more time. Doesn't really matter how we get into it. As long as we actually drift it, you can sort of put the pieces together. So a little bit of foot brake, e-brake, clutch kick, and then off, and then back on. And that keeps you from going too far into the dirt. Now for long course, you go up to third twice. Once in that same spot, so these turns are the same. You're just letting off throttle when you need to, to make the car transition. You can't do this behind an 8.6, they're too slow. But you would be up to third here. You'd still be in third here. E-brake and foot brake to slow the car down while going down to second. And then from here you have to be on foot brake a lot so that you don't slide off the track. I can't really describe it from that particular lap, it's impossible. Um, so we will try again, and I'll try to articulate it for you a little better if I can maintain the line that I want. So up to third, full throttle around this turn, going kind of deep so that we can transition foot brake, e brake somebody in my way down to second gear and then here it's foot brake foot brake e-brake and then a clutch kick out I lost too much speed from trying to dodge that guy uh, I'll have to describe this in another run let's just save some time so really like you're gonna be trying to learn the short course first because short course is essentially everything about long course. No, no tune, stock tune. It's always a driving problem and never a tuning problem. That's the way I try to tell myself anyway, and it makes you a better driver. So assuming you come around here, you clutch kick carefully so that you don't do that and drop a tire. Here you transition up to third on throttle, as soon as you crest the hill, e-brake and foot brake back down to second so that you're basically in a good spot as you come back around here for the second part. Pro, are you on a keyboard and, and mouse? Is that what is that what you've got? Like mouse for steering or I don't know. What are what gear are you driving with again? But that's kind of the kind of the gist. Panda OMGs, I thought you had to lay on the stream. It was me who was watching behind. Oh really? I mean there is There's not like a delay in fuck that. There's not a delay in the stream. But um, the stream is delayed from real life by, I don't know, seven or eight seconds. Shout out to John Gray, too. I saw you in here. I uh, did not get to follow you, but I saw that you were in here. Alright, a little normal driving. A little less talking. A little more just chilling. And scooting around the track. God, I feel sorry for the people that find this as a VOD later. I promise that I'm a lot better driver than I am today. <laughs> Thank you for the sub. Always appreciate. Yeah, see, that's more like it. We'll come up around here. really say other than that is like just watch my right foot when I go around those hairpins and you'll see that I like do a clutch kick and then let off as soon as it 
scoots the car like as soon as it pivots the car around the turn a little bit. Because if I had stayed on uh, if I had stayed on throttle, the car just would have gripped up. Or sorry, would have shot off into the dirt. And if you drop a tire on a dirt hill, you're going to just have a bad time. So see a little clutch kick, come back off. Sometimes a second clutch kick depending on like the track positioning. Like there I had terrible track positioning. Oh, Urban Grit, you're fine. It's all good, brother. We just chillin'. Oh, could this be it? I should have stayed on throttle longer. That's as close as I'm gonna get this stream, I bet, to nailing that Ebisu man line, as some people like to call it. I think any line that risks you breaking your car is not necessarily man line, but to each his own. It is rad if you can do it safely. Time for a different car. Also, I want to see what time it is. Can't see what time it is. Too many monitors. 11, 12. Let's see if we can get a different map up. A message, Rema. Oh wow, I forgot to turn on performance mode, and we are still actually getting reasonable uh, reasonable frames. That is surprising. North course? Oh. I hate the north course that we have on, on Assetto. It just feels so tight. I've driven north course, it doesn't feel that tight at all. It could be, not the course, but the, uh, but the cars, maybe. Like, maybe they make absurd amounts of traction or something, and so they're going, like, way faster than you are in real life. I don't know. It is. It doesn't feel right to me. That's one of those things where, like, I expected it to be easy, because I've done it before, and it it's worse than driving it in real life to me. Just working on getting Sumisudo cart, because I kind of want to go to Sumisudo. <laughs> People are following you. Dude, there's... It's, it's just kind of like Ebisudo Matsuri. There's so many people that you can't not be in tandem, whether you want to or not. There's always going to be people, like, three car lengths from you that run up on you pretty quickly if you give them the chance. But I'm getting ready to, well, I'm, I'm getting ready to hopefully have Rema switch us over to uh, Sumi Pseudo Kart. Regular Panda, if you have a pretty modern CPU and graphics cards, they probably boost by themselves without using performance mode. Um, true. I mean, performance mode in, uh, Screen Labs OBS. Stream Labs OBS, sorry. I can't speak English. Um, because I find that... Cool, I've got Sumisudo, finally. I find that it just doesn't work well. All 
All right, any minute now we should be on a fresh track. Which I'm in the process of installing with Content Manager. So good, you guys have got to get Content Manager. Boop. There's Subi Pseudo Cart installed. Super easy. And we'll be restarting the server. Yeah, no, you're fine. I mean, I think I think my stuff is boosted by default. Oh, it says I don't have Sumi Pseudo Cart. Apparently, I downloaded Sumi Pseudo Cart and not Sumi Pseudo Cart 2018. So clearly, there's a difference. Find Sumi Pseudo Cart 2018. Uh, yeah, the Pro, we're switching over to uh, a track that's a little easier. In part because you asked to. Uh, have that and also just to do something different. I enjoy uh, Ebisu Toge course but it's also kind of a like I, when you get it that's all there is to it you know like there's not not a whole lot else to do. Okay let's see if this is the right version. Not a supported file. Okay I guess this is the one time I have to extract it first. Install. Alright. Now we've got Sumi Pseudo Cart. Ugh. Gross. That was a pain. Never delete all your shit just to make a tutorial. Coop, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Sliding in. Literally, oh, thanks, Roma. You sent it to me, and I ended up finding it from, uh... Oh, God, I'm blanking on his name. From Team Mischief, uh, Miyamoto. So, thanks, Miyamoto. I found your old YouTube video and, uh, and got the link there. Hopefully it's up to date. Let me see if KT Announcements needs it. Yeah, I'll just toss it in the Discord. Track update. Sumi Suto Cart. Cool. Link for the track is in the Kame Trick Discord, and if you haven't joined it, you should. The link for the Kame Trick Discord is in the video description. Favorite track to drive IRL? Probably Sandia Speedway in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Um, OMC is also really fun here in Oklahoma. But Sandia is just an awesome track complex. So massive change from toge course as you can see like i'm going too slow now because i'm used to super tight track it's nice and wide you can take basically any line that you want through here you do have to go up to third in a few spots like right here back down to second And then it's all second gear, easy peasy. Just kind of off throttle transitions. I'm all over the place, going from inside to outside. Sort of it, unconsciously doing um, unconsciously doing a grip line while drifting. Noah says chat's up. Oh, you're right, 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 right. Thank you for that. Go that. Go back to performance mode. 
Oh, pro, you're Formula Drift fan. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Yeah, thank you for that. That's where I was saying, like, I have a difficult time uh, figuring out who's... Uh... Oh, I'm going to have this pull out in front of people. That was a bad call. The guy that reverse entry so hard in the video background. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we do that. What do I think is a solid car pack to practice on? This very... Uh, this very WDT street pack. DW, if you are not interested in larger angle cars, is also pretty solid. Um, DW Wise Fab is, is one of my favorite car packs out there, too. Turn lights on like Noah shirt. there with the pit maneuver. Oh my gosh, dudes, I have not driven this track since I had triple monitors and I can actually throw big angle and see out the side and see the wall and like not hit it because I know how much throttle to give. Oh, this is weird and awesome. Such an open track where you can really see what's going on. Nicer. Oh, nope, I tagged the wall. Yeah, DW Wise Fab is different than normal DW, absolutely. Uh, the guys from On the Mountain who were collabing and hosting on the server, or who was hosting us on their server, uh, modified the original DW cars to add basically Wise Fab angle to them. So much better. Tora, I posted the link in KT announcements, uh, and I probably did the same thing you did. There's actually uh, Sumi Pseudo Kart and then Sumi Pseudo Kart 2018. I did not realize that, but we are running what I wanted to run, and what we are running is Sumi Pseudo Kart 2018. So there's a difference. I don't know what it is, but there is a difference. Big old backies. Stupid backies that aren't necessary to do whatsoever. But we're doing them. America. But I want to follow some people, so I'm gonna find a place to wait. Right here ought to be safe. I want to follow Gurkworks and John Gray. I see him over there. You guys can't see him because right at the side view mirror is where my monitors end. Oh, it's the same track. The only other one only had five pits. Ouch. 
There goes John. No, <laughs> I was not expecting that. Let's see what this S13 coupe has got. I have not tried the D-Spec 3.0 cars. I'm not opposed to trying anybody's car packs, but I haven't, I just haven't tried that pack yet. I am frequently up for suggestions. I don't drive a whole lot right now. My outside of YouTube life keeps me sadly pretty busy. So, I only get to test out a car pack like once a week probably right now. I'm trying to work on that. And now that I've got the triple monitors like permanently set up, I do hope to drive more frequently. <clears throat> We're gonna pull into formation behind Urban Grit here. Back after putting away gear, what is my favorite track? My reading chat while drifting skills are getting stronger. Um, my favorite track in Assetto? Hmm. Oh, that was a wall. Very gentle wall hit. What is my favorite track in Assetto? This is a pretty nice track. Sumi Sudo is really fun. Toge Course, Sumi Sudo, Sports Lane Yamanashi, although I like it better in real life than I've liked it in Sim. Um, look at JDM Maniac's wheels. That car occasionally, one of the wheels in the back just keeps on spinning when the car's at a stop. Are the bezels in between the monitors annoying? Um, you know, you don't really notice them. To be perfectly honest, like, they're, they're not very. It kind of depends on how your stuff is set up, but. I will say the one on the left is more annoying than the one on the right. In right-hand drive cars, the one on the right kind of blends into... Oh, I've got to go for the pass, sorry. The one on the right sort of blends into the A-pillar. And on the left, it's like... How can I describe it? It's about where the passenger windshield wiper, like, con connects to the windshield wiper arm. So, that's kind of right where I look. A little left tap there, that's perfectly fine. 
I think that might be John. Oh, funky line there, sorry. That was super weird, my bad. Oh, nice angle stall, matching the turn. That felt great. Good wall ride. Mm. This lap is shaping up to be good. A little backy. Excellent chase run. Oh, this is sick. Oh, and I spun it. Damn it. Good save from the chase driver. I think that might be John. wall tapping about it parked car so I'm trying to dodge John, what's up, John? How's it going, man? Oh, got that wall. That was close. Uh, gotta concentrate here, but it feels so good. Some nice tandems. Oh, I'm tight right here. This isn't, this isn't ideal. I thought I was gonna catch wall. Oh, dang it. Oh, I was having some rowdy tandems. Excellent leads, John. That was awesome. That made my day. As much as I sim drift in uh, with like tons of people on our Friday night drives, I don't always mesh up well with everybody. Uh, usually it's from like starting too far back, and so when you work your way up on people, you end up like out of sync. They'll be like wide when you're tight, and then it gets all like this, and it's all weird. But, um, and some of that's just me as a driver too. I'm still working on my chasing skills. <sighs> Especially in sim where I can try new stuff. So, like, I, ha I have better chase skills in real life. But because I want to learn new techniques and push in sim, I don't always use what works best for me now because I'm trying to get to something that works even better in the future. So that's an interesting side note, but those that one or two laps right there was actually really nice. Um, and it felt great. So really stoked for that. And actually, there goes John. I want to drive behind him some more if I can. You can actually do the old Gran Turismo 3 bobsled technique on that wall if you want to catch up with somebody. You might can do it right here. This is the bobsled technique for those who don't know. It's an excellent way to make up time on a lead car. <laughs> I mean, look at how well that worked. That was hilarious. And if you 
don't know what the bobsled technique is in Gran Turismo, then did you ever really play Gran Turismo? Let's be honest. I lagged. No! I actually got lag right there and I was totally blinded. I was like, when do I transition? Noah says, hey, for the PC build, can you help me with some internals similar to yours? Yeah! Yeah, um... I would also recommend checking out the... Uh, Assetto Corsa Drifting Community... Drift Community on, uh, on Facebook. Because, like... I research computers really hard when I'm getting ready to build one, and then I stop researching computers until the next time I need to build one. So I'm not always the best person to ask, but I have a full build video up on my, uh, on my channel that actually describes it as far as what I used and all the components that I used. I'm gonna wait for one car to come around here. And then... Oh, I was in fifth gear. That's why it died so hard. Well, that didn't work. I was totally in the wrong gear. My bad, everyone. You didn't deserve that, my people. Urban Grit was fun tonight. Hey, yeah. Thank you, dude. Oh, God. Everyone? Really? Oh, you pushed me out into traffic, guys. That sucked. Tori, you got it? What was, uh... Did you figure out what was, like, wrong? Or did it just randomly work when it hadn't been working earlier? Uh, Sherry420, this track is Sumi Sudo Kart 2018, and it is in the Kame Trick Discord. There is a track linked in the description. However, that was a track we were running earlier in the night. Oh, damn it. Sorry, John. That was my fault. I suck. Goddamn. Pit, pit shenanigans for reals. What do I think about e-brake drifting? I think e-brake drifting is totally fine. It's a perfectly valid technique that is great to use when, like, there is a time when it's the right technique. I also think that the e-brake is such a great correction tool that it can be a crutch because the secret to not using the e-brake is to not need to make corrections most of the time there are some turns where e-brake is just necessary oh, I was kind of going to try to pass Peapod <laughs> sorry I'm JB from Discord. Thanks for all the help, bro. Yeah, man. Did you see me spin in the grass? Oh, no. Just a little dual wall tapping without losing my line. It's fine. All right, so we're going to use the bobsled technique on a later turn. Catch up to John, who's trying valiantly to tandem behind this guy that just isn't all that easy to tandem behind, quite honestly. Uh, at least for me. We'll see how John does.
yes! And then I transition late and ruin it. Damn it! <laughs> uh, John, I'm stoked that you uh, came out. tight and catch up a little bit. Maybe? Doesn't always work the way I think it will. That messes me up a little bit, but not bad. I do not mind if you join the server. You, oh gosh, I got distracted, sorry. Uh, Timmy, no, I don't mind if you join the server at all. So hop into um, the Kame Trick Discord server first, and then look at uh, the KT Announcements channel and the links to the server, um, the track download, if you don't have it in the car download pack as well, is all in there. We'd be happy to have you. We've got 18 people on. I think there's 20 slots, so uh, yeah, join in. Canadian, I'm sure it won't. Oh, no, I, uh, I'm, I'm sure I didn't see whatever it was that I was supposed to see there. I want to catch that train. Oh, that train wiped. Never mind. Oh, everybody left. All my friends. I'll let you follow me, John. If I'm not in the way. Well. Trying to wait for the people to catch up. Alright, here's the people. Let's go. Oh no! Not the grass. That was weird. All right, I see three cars in tandem. Oh, John is ready. Well, in that case, let's wait one second. Let's wait two seconds. There's one more car. He went way inside. We will lead John again. I don't know what's happening there, but we're just going to make it work. Nice little tap. No worries. You know that someone's done a good, like, door tap when it doesn't make you have to adjust anything about the line that you're taking. Thanks for streaming every Friday. Appreciate the effort. Yeah, man. Thanks for tuning in. I would not stream if it weren't for you guys hanging out. I mean, I would still play. I just wouldn't stream. So, really, it's a group effort. Oh, as I catch the understeer and just totally stuff it.
hopefully I'll stay up. Yeah, see you later, Starlord. I appreciate it, man. I'm reading your chats in reverse by accident. If you see my car run away or stop, it's my internet. <laughs> Fair, dude. We have a lot of people on, too, so it does take out people's uh, connections from time to time. That was way too aggressive. But that's how you learn. That's why you learn in sim. Because if you drive like that, actually on track, you're going to be breaking, you know, a couple hundred bucks of control arms and tie rods and wheels every event. And then you'll have a really hard time learning. So I applaud you for shredding as hard as you do in sim. That's fine. I'm just I'm just pointing it out. You know, like it's not it's not designed to be like a diss. It's just like critique. In the spirit like that was stupid for example. In the spirit of like I want you to, to learn and get better. You're fine, man. You're totally fine. got a pretty big train here. Oh, I'm excited. It's probably all gonna go to shit <laughs> right away. We're behind Snoopy, who is, oh god, rocking the VR, and it went to shit right away. <laughs> we'll just push Snoopy up the hill here, and then we'll all get back in formation. It'll be fine. Whoa. I mean, I get it. I want to drive with the tandem crew too, but I bet that I can catch them pretty quick. Screw it. I'll do it too. This is legit. I mean, it's sketch, and it's dirty, but it's also legit. Oh, yeah. Sorry, we were on Toge for a minute. Snoopy dropped out, which brings us to Duza. I never even went into third gear for this turn, because I'm trying to read usernames like a tool. And who is that? J-S-I? Oh, man. Oh man, let me just get out of your all's way since you're so intent. Alright, we're gonna bobsled technique. And we're gonna get back in there, let's do it. It's like the gutter technique, but for, uh, for noobs. Oh, it didn't work at all. <laughs> oh, I have too much fun. Chrome Google, hey, what is up? Welcome to the stream. Levici, yeah, sorry about that. Um, I mean, actually, I'm not sorry about that. We we did like two hours of Toge, and now we're back on to uh, Sumi Pseudo Kart 2018. Awesome little track. But you're right, though. It is the the very opposite of Ebisu Toge. Super wide. You can see everything. Lead the way, Noah. Let's go. Mm -hmm. 
I love that livery on that S15. Oh god. I had to throw the wheel and let Jesus take it for a second there, but we made it. It was good, I just, I wasn't prepared. Shame on me. Snoopy asked me to GTFO, evidently. See what we could do here. John G was dope, man. Getting super hot in VR. Gonna take a break. Right on. Yeah, dude. That was sick. You had some awesome uh, follow runs, some great leads. I always appreciate when, like, even though it's VR, somebody is, like, very clearly making an effort to not, like, hit you, even if it's your fault that you messed something up. Whereas a lot of people are like, fuck it, it's VR. I'm just gonna bounce into you. Like that. I didn't mean to do that. I was. Too busy talking. Sorry, Canadian. Parked it. But yeah, that was an awesome time. Glad to see you in here. Oh, that was about to be the most rad backy. And instead it was the most sad backy typo. Don't worry guys, I'll be here all night. Timothy, which I got my G29 now. Soon, man. Come join us soon. Alright, actually, I'm gonna pop the pits. I wanna know. I wanna know something from you guys. We got at least 30 people in here, I think. E-brake cam. Shifter cam. Down here. Does anybody want one? Does that matter at all? We've got feet. We've got wheel and all this. What, uh, what do you think? I tried to do, like, a, a cam down here so you can see, like, the e-brake pulls and the shifting just for, uh, just for fun, and pretty much got told, like, move it back to the a pedal cam, which is fine. I get that. But, uh, what if... How many... Are we going three wide right from the start? Hell yeah. <laughs> But what if I just add a third camera? If my system can handle adding a third camera. Let me know what you think. And yeah, what's up, Tim? How's it going, man? I'm, I'm glad that you appreciate the vids. Thank you. That means a lot to me. I always enjoy hearing that uh, all the time I'm putting into this stuff is actually putting smiles on faces or teaching people things. Lately, I feel like I've been doing more just like entertaining than I have actually like educational content, but I do think that you can learn a lot about drifting by watching a good drifter drive. And I guess I shouldn't imply that I'm a good drifter, but you know, I don't completely wipe all the time. But the other side of that is if you find somebody who's pretty art. Oh, dang it pretty articulate and down to talk about what they're doing as they do it, I think you can really learn a lot. Both, get a handbrake, handbrake cam, okay. Yeah, JT, I do, I, I don't really want to drop like the 160 bucks on the Logitech Brio or whatever, which has got the higher field of view, but I might, and then the extra cam I could put behind me. For, uh, for wheel and pedal, or I guess I could drop like 230 bucks and just buy like a good 10 millimeter lens for my DSLR, stick that bad boy up here as a face camera, and then you guys could see all the wrinkles on my old ass forehead. That would be <laughs> that would be pretty good, wouldn't it? Better lighting, it'd be a way better picture. I'll have to see. Honestly, the biggest problem that I have 
with the Logitech cameras. I only use the C922, like, just the cheapo webcams. Well, the cheapest Logitech webcams. But the problem that I run into is that the cords are too short for sim drifting. Like, if I was just gaming, the cords are perfect. But, you know, I've got this big, like, eight, eight foot desk. My computer is under that desk, like, over here. And my shifter is over here. So then I have to run the cable, like, behind the seat. And it's just not long enough. I tried to buy a cable extension for them. Like, literally, a uh, female on one end and male on the other USB that was, like, 10 feet long. And I do use those for some things. Like, I'm keeping my, uh keeping my keyboard and mouse on them so that I can move them over there to my editing computer. Uh, but when I plugged in the extension cord for the cameras, they don't work. They like, they don't power up basically. So that was super disappointing. Long story short, well, it's still a long story, but it, it makes it possible, it makes it really uh, difficult. I'm gonna catch a fresh train makes it really difficult to uh, get the angles that I want. Tim, um, I would be down for a VR headset, but I I get gnarly motion sickness from it. So that's the main reason. Um, I don't know if, if it's, I guess it's obvious from the video title, I forgot. But yeah, I'm on triples, so I can see as good as somebody in VR. I don't have quite the same amount of like depth, so the speed sensing is harder. But, oh, but nobody's perfect. Don't go to 10 millimeters. Well, they make a, um, you're right, it is too wide. But, like, I mean, I can, if I extend my arm, the camera's at, like, right here. Like, it's only a foot and a half at most. Probably less than a foot and a half away from me. Uh, but they've got, like, a 10 to 30, 10 to 30 mil. And so I could adjust it to be decent, you know. No, you don't need to see like six feet either way behind me. I need to use my Canon 80D more. Noah says, I'm just going to be in chat. I can't tend to save my life tonight and the game's getting 15 FPS. Dude, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, the fact that you're trying to tandem through that is admirable because 15 FPS, like, I wouldn't even play. I would... I would just be like, flipping tables, man. So, I hear you. <laughs> it's the glasses. Something like. I'm the, uh, I'm the hidden boss from Initial D fourth stage, Godbeard. All you have to do is not get left behind for the first, like two laps and then I just crash on my own. That's how you win. Uh, Tim, I'm using a Fanatec Club Sport wheel and Fanatec V3 non-inverted as you can see pedals down here. Um, and then I guess I can take a second and show you guys. And then over here, I've got, uh, it's all mirrored so it's weird, I've got a Fanatec e-brake in like the traditional pull-up style, and then my shifter here. So, that's more or less my setup. Should have got in on that train. I guess I will join in with them over here and then hope I don't wipe with the uh, debris on the tires. Kusanagi, what is up? All the homies in stream with us today.
Sorry, Kusanagi, that was a little bit of a rude bump there. You did not deserve that treatment. I wasn't trying to give you that treatment, but I did. My bad. Similar to IRL, like, I can only comfortably and safely get close to people that are very consistent and very smooth. I do something weird on that transition that always ends up getting me left in the dust a little bit. Kame, are you good at metal fabricating? Because you can make yourself a bracket to invert the pedals. I am not at all good at fabricating, unfortunately. Um, like, when it comes to cutting metal and bolting it together, I can, I can do that. But as far as, like, welding and cool boy stuff like that, I've got no skills whatsoever. We are enjoying some pleasant tandems right now though. I'm learning something. Except, oh, I got distracted. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Everyone, <laughs> I've let you all down. <laughs> Would I invert my pedals? Um, probably not. Like, it's a bad habit of mine, but I'm all about the driving. And if, uh, honestly, if I feel like it's good enough, I focus more on like improving my driving than I do on improving the, the setup or the car. And right now my driving is worse than the pedals, so to speak. So like the driving is what gets focused on. If I get to where I feel like the pedals are preventing me from driving significantly better, then I would uh I would definitely look at changing up the pedals. JT Pro found a convertible S13 for 2,000 bucks. That's not bad. Two grand is, I mean, if it runs. My main thing about, like, buying used vehicles, and I'm sorry, I'm not quite keeping up with everybody in chat. Like, I'm trying to, but there's enough coming in that I'm, I'm missing things. So, nothing personal. But, uh, I would go for it if it was running. Now, if you're trying to build, like, a, a purpose drift car, like what I've got, which isn't, like, a Pro-Am car, but, oh, that's too close to the wall. But it's still pretty, um, now I can catch up with chat. It's still pretty close, then a convertible may not, may not be your best choice. But if it's, like, a street and drift car, I think that'd be awesome. William, yeah, yeah, about the, the shifter. So I could put a camera over here and actually show the shifter, the e-brake, and then you could see the wheel a little bit. Seeing the screens, I feel like, isn't actually all that great if I show them, you know, the actual game capture window, but I don't know. I think that'd be cool. I'll At least I'll experiment with it in my edited videos. So, oh, Nico Las, thank you. I appreciate it. The next time that I um have a, I don't know, the next time that I have a, a edited video come out, which will be soonish, I gotta shoot one. I'll try to shoot one this weekend. I uh, I'll try to use that camera angle, and, and then you guys can see what it looks like, and let me know if you want to see it on stream or not. Noah, if I'm gonna daily my 350 along with going to events, would it be best to weld my diff? You won't hurt 
anything by welding your diff. Um, 350s are fine cars. The three, uh, a VLSD is actually okay. Hold on. Oh, all right. Hopefully, uh, flipping the mic up is supposed to cut audio. I don't want to sneeze in everybody's ear. Caught me, uh, caught me by surprise there. So viscous diffs are, are not bad. I don't find them to be too unpredictable. Like, they, they're like Tando buddies. They activate slowly so it gives you a little bit more time to like catch the drift when you're learning it um i think that they're i think they're fine i drifted on a viscous diff for like two years actually like three john g bro motion sickness passes it took me like two weeks yeah i almost threw up I borrowed a kit for like two months and I got to where I could drive for three or four minutes and then I felt like crap for 45 minutes. And that was kind of where I gave up. I might try it later with newer gear uh, to see like if it works better for me. I keep thinking I'm going to sneeze. That's why I'm like sitting here like not doing anything. No, you'll be fine, Noah, with a welded diff. Uh, in the rain, you have to be careful. Uh, and yeah, that's true. Uh, Randy has got some... <laughs> thanks for the, the sneeze blessings. Um, randy has got a point. I've never driven a 350Z VLSD, but my 240 had a VLSD, and it was no issue. Um, what I've got now is heaps better, of course, but I didn't notice. What's my opinion on drift Miatas? Uh, Miatas are short wheelbase cars. They're very snappy when they transition, so they're a little harder to drift. But they're light. They don't they don't wear out tires very much because of how little they weigh. Like honestly, vehicle weight is as big of a factor as horsepower, I would say, in terms of tire wear. So like a Miata with the same what's up, Tora? <laughs> a Miata with the same amount of power will last will keep a set of tires going for longer than an S13, and an S13 will go for longer than like chaser so they are they're kind of cheaper to drift in a way but they don't make any power from the factory so you'd either have to like turbo with some flying Miata gear or something like that uh, supercharge if you are into that which I'm a supercharge fan but they don't make a lot of kits I don't know and only root supercharge. I could care less about centrifugals. You might as well just turbo them at that point. But root chargers? Oh god, I love root superchargers. Oh, that was terrible. But yeah, if you get a, uh, if you get knuckles and stuff on, on a Miata, I'd be about it. biggest thing is it's just going to cost some money to make that chassis make power. And I don't know if they're very robust. I would imagine that if you get into a couple of, like, more than tire mark type hits, that you'd probably have some significant body damage and the car would start looking rough fairly quickly. <laughs> William says, VR killed me. I loved the immersion. Man, the new grass effects are pretty cool. I mean, it's kind of like... A little chunky, a little fake looking, but... It's better than what it used to be, I like it. But he's putting a 65 inch TV. Oh, a little wall tap there. Really close to the wheelbase, and it's actually not bad. The triples are awesome. You guys can't even see all the triples.
I am trying so hard to, like, sneeze. It's just, like, right there. And it won't just happen and get over with. <clears throat> I, I mean, one thing you can do, Noah, is buy your 350Z with the welded, or with the VLSD and just try it some. See what you think. It'll be easier to drive with the VLSD. Well, that it's a little dangerous in the rain, but, like, just drive responsibly. Um, and if you don't have a drift alignment, then you'll be pretty much fine. Yes, Panda, you're right. The whining, the whining sound, the zzzz, is, like, what makes it so cool. Uh, and I am on PC. Unfortunately, like, all of what you're seeing is modified. The cars, the tracks, the graphics, the lighting, everything is a mod. Uh, and mods are only available on PC, unfortunately. I want somebody to follow. Who's this? It's Tora on the flight stick, right? Yeah, so Tora is shredding on a pretty cool setup. He's got a flight stick for steering, and it, which is hard because it's got no self-steer. And he's got um, the like rudder pedals for his gas and brake, I'm pretty sure. So shout out for using a unique setup. <clears throat> I'm sure that's way more challenging than a wheel, but it's cool that you're out here getting after it with us. <laughs> the triples though, yeah, I didn't even get to finish that, that thought because I thought I was going to sneeze. The triples are excellent. So the, sh the view that I'm giving you guys is essentially two of the three monitors, but it's not cut where the monitors are cut in terms of like where they're positioned but as far as the amount of field of view that you're looking at you're looking at basically two monitors worth in the middle of the screen from side mirror to side mirror but my view actually goes out hey see you Timothy my view actually goes out to most of the side window like I can't see the, the passenger seat but it is so much that uh, I can basically be anywhere behind somebody and even alongside them and I can still see enough of their car to know what they're doing. And the other thing I kind of dig about this besides just the comfort of not having a headset on is that like in real life you look with your eyeballs. You don't have to turn your whole head but in VR because of the tracking they don't have eyeball tracking. So you have to go like this, and like, if you watch my head, I don't move a whole lot. Like, I just look, but I only move from like here to here, and I feel like VR guys are like going from here to here. Knife, I got a setup yesterday and I'm so happy. That's awesome, dude. I gotta figure out where I'm gonna camp and wait for people to come around the corner. I'm gonna try to follow somebody over here. Noah, if I'm driving the car daily, would it be best to do a full realignment with camber and toe or just adjust it once a month? Yeah, Tora, I was behind you for a minute. I was just bragging on your setup. No, no! <laughs> Not at all. I'm the one with the trash drift technique. What gear am I in? I'm in third gear, that's why that didn't feel right. Hi! That's going to be an interesting Manji type move. Oh man. So everybody's got different ways of attacking the track. And this guy that I'm following has like the amount of drift angle that he has to 
get solidly through whatever turn he's in, and then when he needs to transition, he throws even bigger angle and does like an angle stall to slow the car down, which is cool. Like, it's a perfectly legitimate way to do it, but it's the opposite of what I do. So, everybody's different, right? But when he's getting ready to transition, he comes in too fast, goes to even more angle in the same direction, and that slows him down. And then he transitions and he's at the right speed and gets back on the gas. And what I do is I transition full throttle, and as soon as I transition, I get heavy on the foot brake, and I kill my speed after the transition, where he does just beforehand. So, like, you'll see if he, unless that was just a fluke, he'll come around here, now that I know, I can watch for it, and he'll get a big angle right here, and that'll slow him down. And then he can just get onto the gas. I was too far back to do the exact same thing without going off into the grass. And I use that technique on this turn, because you kind of have to slow down for this decreasing radius turn. But, uh, he did it in a spot that I don't do it, and it was really interesting. Oh my gosh, Erectus Defectus. What a name. Oh, that gives me shivers. <laughs> See there again, the super big angle. And I prefer to come in this way and slow down on the e-brake there, see? And now I'm actually in position to basically pass him. I'm not going to. See how my technique just doesn't line up? And it's my responsibility as oops, too fast. I killed the ball. <laughs> it's my responsibility as the chase car to uh, to match up to him. So I'm pointing this out both because it's interesting and so that like I make a note of it and attempt to improve my technique to fit this situation better. And that's an important aspect to becoming a better driver as well, is like, you have to observe what you're doing and whether or not it's working in a concrete way, you know, like turn for turn, oh, this is what is happening that I'm doing wrong, in order to like, oh, I misshifted, make the, in order to make an improvement that's going to make a pretty solid difference pretty quickly. Panda, yeah, absolutely. You can uh, you can message me something on Discord anytime, actually. I'll allow a comment from Toka or Uokuta, sorry. I'll catch up on chat. I do see Toka in here. What's up, man? Oh, I gotta figure out where I was on the chat. How's the triple life treating me, dude? The triple life is excellent. Like. Here, I'm the camera for a second. Maybe. Oh, it's so good. So, let me pull this down. We'll watch JT Pro go by. Like, oh, it's so good, man. I'm loving it. It's excellent. Thank you for your advice. And, uh, and for vetting those monitors. Recommending them. Because it is super enjoyable. I'm having an excellent time. Where it says I use the pedals for clutch and gas. My brakes are on my throttle. Hotas. Push forwards. Is that um like the power thing for uh for planes and like boats? I don't know what Hotas stands for, but I'm pretty sure that that's what it is because I know we've talked in Discord and you, you know aeronautical terms. Aeronautical, aerodynamic, hmm. airplane terms. Them English words that people speaks in the countryside. Uh, Harry, do you know any adapters for aftermarket wheel on G29? 
Um, I don't chat my... Fix this camera. I don't chat my, um, Super Auto Box flag in the background. Google probably does. I, I don't. But congrats on getting a set out. It's an awesome game. Rainian depends on what you want on the budget. Cool. You guys have got it sorted there. Let's do some driving. I'm going to jump in. Not behind Tora. It's too dangerous because I'm going to get tagged by... Is that Snoopy again? Yeah, Snoopy in proximity. And I don't know what happened there. Um, when I pulled out, I was trying to pull out behind three cars, and then all of a sudden the first car clipped through, so I was experiencing a little bit of deceiving lag. Okay, you lagged too. Yeah, it's okay. I do. I think it's I think it's quite immersive. I am I'm enjoying it. I mean Oh shit, I just obliterated him. I th that must have been my fault. I am sorry, dude. I didn't think I was that far off, but... I mean, it's not as immersive as VR, but it's like ten times as gorgeous visually, and... Like, the long distance view is very clear which matters a lot. And it's so comfortable to drive. The biggest thing is just having these monitors permanently set up on, on a permanent desk so that I don't have to set this crap up every time that I want to drive or shoot a video. Oh, so much better. I'm going to be spoiled. Like, by the time that I go back to driving the real car, and I have to shoot a YouTube video about drifting in real life, I'm gonna be like, what? I have to pack the car? And then I have to drive it? And then I have to unpack it? And then I have to not suck at the drift track? Like, all while filming? And it's hot? Ugh. <laughs> Sim might just ruin me for drifting in real life. We'll see. But I know that you guys want to see the real life drifting content too and if you don't don't tell me it'll hurt my feelings um. <laughs> yeah I get that more of a mixed reality feel that's fair what up Snoop Smoke weed every day. Oh no. I killed us. That was so not cool. Damn it. I'm just not a good drifter. To your right, you'll see the awesome Sparks mod that uh, Custom Shaders patch gives you. Oh, bro, you're way out there. I don't know if you're supposed to be that far out there. Oh, that was too close. That's my fault. Oh, lost in the sauce. I gotta reset here. I was not trying to jump in front of three more cars. I don't know where you guys came from. But that was my bad. Excuse <laughs> Telling you you can't go inverted in real life drifting? You don't really want to, it's gonna hurt. I've seen some people do it and I do not recommend. try and actually follow Kusanagi here. I feel like there's been a couple times that we've been somewhat near one another, but we haven't, I haven't actually done a proper attempt at following. We're going over here apparently.
Oh, 100% VR comfort is subjective. Because there are definitely people that can live in VR and it's all good. I, uh, we're all going to go back to the pits. Follow Matt. Come on, Matt. Let's roll. Whoop, whoop. Uh, 1,000 subs and zero videos, which I never did check. If you actually have, Matthew, what are you doing? If you actually have that many subs with zero videos, respect. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm driving the S13 coupe again. Noah, thanks for helping Harry out there. Oh, that was the weirdest back he ever. Dead right off the bat, whoops. <laughs> Man, I do that all the time. Especially when I'm streaming. Alright, let's catch up to these two gentlemen. Or not, let's catch up to this one gentleman. Breaking. I fail it left foot breaking again. I don't really get. I need to talk to some people that are better drivers than me in real life. I need to talk to Mike Shuttleback about uh, left foot braking and how like different people use it. Like I, I get the impression that some people are just like full throttle all the time and just standing on the left foot brake behind somebody else. And for me, what I've what I've experienced, maybe it's my car setup. Oh, you're good, dude thousand subs. Anyway, what I've experienced is that like, I don't know, if I, if I really stand on the throttle and I stand on the brake, the car just spins out. Like it locks up the front and understeers or it like parks the front and whoop and just picks up way too much angle and kind of spins. So I wonder if like that's just driver error. Like, of course I can't feel weight shift in sim, so that's hard because I would notice if I was locking up the front tires or like at risk of it or at risk of pulling the front out of drift and understeering uh, in real life. I've only done that a, twice in real life and I do it like every sixth time I try on uh, on sim if I really aggressively left foot brake. So I tend to just like throttle modulate and very gently breathe onto the left foot brake but I'll never really like get into it real hard so I don't know. I'd be curious to hear what other people do that have IRL experience. Oh, let's see. Folks, it's 12.30. In the AMs. And speaking of 30, we got 30 folks watching. I'm 
for all 30 of y'all, I want to say thank you for being a part of the stream every week. We're going to slide with Matt again for just a second, but I am getting ready to close the stream down. So, as always, we'll cut a few laps. Any final questions, comments, or thoughts, now is the time to lay them down. Now is also the time, if you haven't already, to make sure that you smack that uh, like button. If you're new and you haven't subscribed already, we slide every Friday, 9 p.m. Central Time until midnight Central Time. If you're across the pond, I am going to try and do a Saturday morning stream instead of a Friday night stream at some point in February. Because I know that all my folks in Europe who want to hang, it's like 3 a.m. when I start streaming and that's just a terrible time of day for you guys. So I will try to, not as frequently, but I'll try to try to hang with you guys occasionally. I got to do that once over the holidays and it was really good. Had a great time and one of the top uh, top viewed streams too. So I appreciate you guys and I want to show you that by making some time to hang with you. I don't know if Proximity or I am winning the race right here. Well, nobody is now. Alright. I guess I'm up. Oh, the curse of being in front of me and then wiping. I don't know why it happens, but it's a thing. This track is way more fun with the triples. I can really get in position, I have way more options. Being able to approach people in chase from like less than ideal angles and then check up on them and get into the right position is something I just couldn't do with the single monitor. You know, no surprise. Also, no mechanical sympathy for this uh, SR. But now I can, and it just gives me so many more options that I can drive well. So, that's fun. I still need to get used to it. I think I've taught myself a couple of bad habits from playing single monitor without real head motion for a while, but I'm working through them. Working through them. This weekend I'm going to be editing legit real life drifting dodge right there. Love it. That's the reflexes kicking in. <laughs> um, I've shot five videos worth of drift edit footage. I should have just bailed on that one. And uh, I'll be editing them. The first couple are super easy. You guys are going to be bored with the first one or two. They're like how to install a set of Corsa, and you know, set it like the root folder is favorites. So I know that if you're watching the stream, you probably already know how to do all that. But I do want to do something to support the noobs and uh, get more people into this awesome motorsport. I do sim or in real life, so. There's a lot of real life drifters that have zero computer experience and don't really want to learn it and they're not, they're like more me than me where they're like, fuck it, I just want to drive. I don't care about the setup, I don't care about optimizing, I just want it to work. And I want to focus on enjoying the driving experience and never touch this computer ever again. And like, for people like that, there's just not a video out there for them. You know, like all the videos assume that you built your own computer and that you understand how to do like mods and setup, or at least that you understand how to do research and teach yourself. But I think there's going to be more and more people getting into sim that a population. I'm not saying the overall population is going to shift in that direction, but like the more popular sim gets, the more real life drifters are going to say, "Hey, I want to drift every week and not spend you know three to five hundred dollars per weekend." So 
those guys are going to start coming into the sim world, and some of them have never even had a Facebook profile or, you know, anything, so they're not going to be equipped to, to do computer stuff, and hopefully I'll be able to make content that helps them get into sim and have as much fun, you know, there as uh, they have on the track in real life. Matt with the 360, that was cool. All right, we'll do chat. The pro from the Philippines. Uh, what time is it there? It is close to 1 a.m. It's, uh, well, 12.37 a.m. Why is IRL drifting cooler? I mean, it may not be. Like, back in the day, it's cool. It was cooler. <clears throat> in part because, like, <coughs> just... Sims and gaming. I'm losing my voice. Hold on. <coughs> I've been talking a lot. Sims and gaming were just like way less advanced, and so it was cooler then. And uh, there's still this perception that we'll go over to uh, to our video chat background. There's still this perception that. Kind of like esports, how they're not always taken seriously by the average person, you know? They're like, oh, okay, all you're doing is you're just sitting there playing a game. Uh, you're not actually doing anything. And it's not its not really true. I mean, there is more to it in real life than you're ever going to get out of a sim. But it's not that severe. Like, you're going to be 80% of the way there or something. So... Back in the day, it was cooler, and I think culturally there's still this, this mindset that doing stuff IRL is cooler, but personally, the experience I've had with this, it is pretty close to satisfying my desire to drift a car without me going into the garage and fixing the real drift car, which, as you guys know, is half apart right now. I'm pulling the motor uh, for a repair so that I can drift it, oh, I don't know, around April or May? Um... But yeah, I think Matt with the 360 again nailed it this time. I think that uh, IRL stuff will always be a little bit cooler just because of the exclusivity. It takes a lot more to do it. It takes more time. It takes more commitment. It takes more money. Um, so there's that. But I, I really love sim drifting. I'm having a ball doing this. In a way, it's a lot more fun than drifting in real life because of all the car maintenance that you have to do and all the money it costs. <clears throat> Kevin Sampson, do I do any Griffy Boy stuff on The Sim? I certainly want to. Um, I'm going to pick up some more games. I used to do Griffy Boy stuff with, uh, with a Logitech Driving Force, like super old school PlayStation 2 wheel. Uh, it's in the closet here. I still have it. I might make a video with it at some point. <clears throat> but uh, I haven't really yet, and I think if I do, I'll develop a much better sense for like feeling what is happening with the car through the sim steering wheel. With drifting you don't really have to feel that stuff as much like you're doing such massive weight transitions but with grip racing you're dealing with like a knife edge and it's really fine tuned so I need to take the time to do some some straight up grip and toge uh, and other things so that I can just become a, a better sim driver. I do it in real life, and it makes you a better driver in real life. Uh, I will. I, I may make... I'll probably make content about it. I don't know. This is kind of a drifty channel. I don't know if people want to see that. The average frame rate I get for AC... Oh, dude, it's way up there, Noah. It's like... Over... It's at least 100 to 120 FPS. Uh, and that's with triple monitors while rendering the stream all on the same computer. Like, it's in 2K, 7680 by 1440p with the monitors all linked up. It crushes. You you want at, at least 60, 70. Um, and if you can get 100, 120, you'll be... You may not notice the difference if you're not used to it, but like it's always, always better to have more. No, if I'm chilling with you tonight, awesome stream. Hey, I appreciate it. Thank you for checking it out as always. The Pro, why don't I join Pro Drifting? Um, it's incredibly expensive. Like, 
my car could compete in Pro-Am if I threw another $3,000 at it, probably, mostly on a cage. But if I wanted to go to, like, Pro 2, I'd need to spend, like, I don't know, 60, 70, I feel like fifty to $60,000 per year. Uh, and that's more money than I make per year, so it's impossible for me. If I'm going to go full baller on a PC, should I get a triple monitor as well? Uh, I don't think so. Um, if you Try VR. If you can handle VR, it's cheaper, and it takes up less space, and you don't have to build this monstrous desk that I have. So, I mean, it's, it's a lot easier to do VR, in my opinion. I would have if, if it worked for me, but it just wasn't working for me. My 240 is not turboed. It uses a NAV8. It makes 308 wheel horsepower. It's not a very fast car. Uh, Logan, yes, I have played Live for Speed. I started playing LFS in like 2006 or 2005. I haven't played it much since I built the uh, this sim, but I used to play it before I moved to Japan, and then I played it in Japan with that PS2 like Logitech Driving Force wheel. Um, I think Assetto is a better game for drifting because of all the content, but I think Live for Speed has a competitive tire model in physics. I just wish that they had <clears throat> they had tires that didn't age in like three laps and pop uh, cars with more angle and better track building but uh, LFS is, is a my second favorite drifting specific uh, simulator or, or simulator in which you can drift there's not a drifting specific simulator really regular panda all you do not have is g-force but other than that it's a really good tool to train before hitting the track totally agree 100% agree. This is Sandia, for whoever asked about Sandia. This little jump, whoop, right here is really fun to hit if you go down this uh, bank. It's a series of tracks, so there's like a curved banked oval track, and then an infield, and then like two other grip tracks around it, and we use all of them, which is pretty cool. So like the main curve keeps on going, now I'm pulling into the infield. They delineate the track, so you have to follow a certain route. Now we're going through a side road back out onto the main oval, through another side road and out onto a grip track right here and it's just so fun. Sandia is a wild like you know minute minute and a half long probably minute and a half long laps like it's awesome. This is still just one lap at Sandia. Um, and you come around here boop, diff off into the dirt for just a second and then back down the hill. Sandia rocks. One of my favorite tracks IRL for sure. Oh, uh, the pro! Uh, just hang out, man. Keep keep working on your uh, on your practice, and when you get to where you can drive, you'll have a good opportunity to uh, to start from a, a high place of skill. Also, network. Help out people that are into the cars already, and something could happen uh, for you by the time that you get to where you can drive. You never know. JT Pro, oh Canadian, great night, thanks. Yeah man, I appreciate it. Looking forward to uh, working with you on wrapping up that track. Maybe we'll drive it next Friday. JT Pro, my Discord is having a muscle car race on Laguna Seca. Oh, I like Laguna Seca. I know it from like Gran Turismo 3 and 4. That would be fun. Um, did you already... Have you dropped me an invite to that Discord? I'll join it. I'm not super active, but if you at me, I'll, I'll check everything. Um, DM me an invite if you haven't already. That sounds... Oh, Spitfire Rally and Toge. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you did. I, I think I joined your server last week. Yeah, Drifting Pro... Like, FD Pro 2 is expensive as hell. I'm doing the best I can, guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm living the dream in the sense that it's... It's affordable. And I have a regular job, you know. And, and I don't make... I, I don't make, like... 60k, you know, 60k a year, 55k a year, which is what it would cost per year to do that, and I'm still enjoying drifting 10, 12 times a year, and uh, and then sliding in sim every week now, which is so sick. I'm really enjoying it. Matt says, I think the only time you notice how much better high FPS is is when you no longer have it. Yep, that's the truth. Like, good FPS, you don't notice. It's the, it's the lack of it that you notice. Similar to what I was talking about with Tyler in the Tandem Talk video podcast, which if you've not checked it out, watch it. 
I know it's like an hour and a half and that's intimidating, but it's actually really fun. Put it on at work or while you're doing some homework or something and we get into some cool chats about the Mayhunt 2020 track. And that's one of the things that I was telling him is like good immersion and good backgrounds and stuff are things that ironically people don't notice when you do it right because it's immersive. But if it's not there, that's when they're like, this is kind of chunky looking, you know, like they see the lack of it. Can drifting in AC with my mouse help me drift in real life? Mm. You'll learn some concepts and that will help you as far as like how when to transition coming up on a turn and stuff like that. How to um, how to check up on people. You, you can learn some of those basics, but your muscle memory will be non-existent for actually like shifting and, and driving. So it will not help as much as a wheel, but it's not worthless. It's it's in between. Uh, JT Pro, yes, I have a 2002 all, alu all aluminum 5.7 Camaro motor with a uh, with a six-speed. Sorry, I'm tired. My brain is just turning off, but with the six-speed as well. Nico says I should do a Need for Speed video. That's not a typo, right? You didn't mean to say LFS. You meant an NFS video. I could. I'm not against it. Um, I am a little bit curious if the... How should I say this? I'm a little bit curious if the audience, not just you guys, like you got you guys are the core audience and you watch all my stuff and I really appreciate it, but the overall audience, you know, the couple thousand people that actually watch my stuff, if most of them don't like it, it'll hurt the channel. So I, I might try it. I don't know if I'll do it for a long time. My headset just went to sleep. There we go. I do need to try the new uh, Need for Speed Heat though. Rema, that's why a lot of people hate FD. More about having money over skill. Lots of talented people who won't do FD because they can't afford it. 100% true. I, I won't say anything about money over skill, um, but there are a lot of highly skilled people that decide they want to spend their money in other ways, or they just straight up don't have the money. Um, I'm in favor of guys like Nate Hamilton, shout out to Nate, and uh, his 144 print shop out of Texas. Like, you know, he's been there, done that, and now he's going around the country to party events and spending less money drifting in different states every month during the season than he was doing at the, and he's getting way more seat time, probably as much media, like, that's, that's kind of the formula that I like, and if I had access and like was able to partner up or direct people to do it. I have I have plans that I think would be really cool to really do like a not a budget but an affordable grassroots drift competition that guys with you know 300 350 horsepower cars would enjoy because you can build those cars for like 15k and it's not a big deal. But you know like guys could do that all day. You build it build it one year, drive it the next year, and it's even cheaper. So. I'd like to see that, but it's, uh, it's different. The LED car, oh, that was my car. With, like, $500 of LEDs on it for a video. I didn't have to pay for the LEDs, it was sick. Um, okay, yeah, I, I, I did join that Discord. The Pro, I work with uh, web design and database management, sort of communications with a little bit of IT. Yay, there's the LEDs again. Noah, I might not be on the next stream. Be working on my PC. Hey, that's cool. I need to try FR Legends. I've heard great things. I never did play it. 60 FPS hurts my eyes. Good night. Right on. Bid might be long, but time flies by. Yeah, thank you. Tori taking a Klondike break. Man, we had some Klondike bars. I think my wife ate my last one. I'm sad. As far as like the AMC Javelin, Pontiac Firebird fire chickens JT Pro one question for you before I go what uh, what chassis what car not that I'm gonna pick it I, I probably won't even make it out but I just want to know what what chassis of those do you think is one of the most competitive chassis I enjoy all cars however I do not know um, 
anything about uh, how to evaluate their competitiveness. JT Pro getting personal. How much do I earn per month or day? Enough to build a triple monitor sim rig and computer uh, after saving up for a couple months and enough to drift my car 12 days a year and still have a house. So like, not a small amount, but I don't have that much left over. It'd be easier to say that assuming there's not any significant changes in my life, I can probably drop five thousand dollars on my car every year and up to if I wanted to push and not save any money for my savings probably ten thousand like not a lot that's not a lot of money when you're getting into cars when every weekend is 300 to 500 bucks it's not much money so I build the car slowly that's why I build the car slowly and that's why I build the computer and stuff slowly too it's because I don't want to get overextended financially Having the ability to budget and not, like, overspend and get in debt is, like, it's like having more money than you actually make because you don't screw yourself and have to pay interest on, on debt and stuff. JT Pro says, I personally like the Firebird. Phoenix likes the AMC Javelin. Um, you know, it just depends as far as drifting being expensive in 12 days a year. If you think about it, like, most places have a drift event, like, once a month. And so, we don't drift 12 months out of the year because there's winter for three of those months, four of those months. So, I, there's roughly nine or ten months that I have the opportunity to drift within a, like, three-hour drive of me. And after that, I have to start driving like eight hours and spend the night at places. And so you think about that. See ya, Noah. Um, think about like, you drive eight hours. So that's like a tank of gas at least, maybe two tanks of gas. You got to have a trailer, either rent or buy. Um, you get down there the night before, you get a hotel, there's a hundred bucks more you know so you're already at like i don't know 200 300 bucks if you have to rent your trailer especially at least 200 just to get down there eat on the drive and get a hotel and then the next morning you attend the event that's a hundred dollars you go through two tires that's two hundred dollars and then you drive back that's another hundred dollars like it's it's stupid expensive if you travel to events and if you don't travel to events then you know you're you're drifting once a month, 10 times, and that's it. So I drift in usually like two or three states every year, uh, and I'd like to do more, but the travel really gets you. Because like the US anyway, it's a big ass country, and you have to drive a long time to get to different people. Like I've been to events in Kentucky, Ohio, Kansas, Texas, uh, Oklahoma where I live presently, California, New Mexico, Pennsylvania, uh, but I can't do that all the time. You know, some of those it takes like 20 hours just to get to the track, so I can't always do that. All right, Taurus says, if you can build a reliable car and not wreck it every second or third event, tires and maintenance are the highest costs. Yes, that is true. Um, and that assumes you street drive your car to the event. Otherwise, you have to buy a truck, you have to buy a trailer, you have to do upkeep on those. It gets terrible gas mileage because it's a truck and trailer. So, yeah. It's, uh... There's a lot of cool opportunity in America, and it's it's a... Like, in, in the mainland or whatever, it's a cool place to be. But stuff is spread out, so, like... If you aren't near stuff, you're kind of hosed. And then you have to go to it. And if you are near stuff... Like, you can, you can do it cheap if you're really close. But a lot of times, in order because of how far it is, you end up wanting to tow. So, that's a thing. JT Pro says they have weird brakes. It's something to get... Yeah, they probably have drum brakes or something crazy. Drum 
demo with the truth. Drifting, or cars in general can be expensive, and if you're drifting, you're breaking more stuff, for sure. Huh, most people don't know drifting or want to host it. I would like to, I would like to drift in other countries more. I've only drifted outside of America, I've only drifted in Japan. But I'd love to get to visit. I mean, where wouldn't I want to drift, honestly? But Norway's got some cool stuff. Oh, friends, what's up, man? You did. You missed the stream. We're wrapping up, brother. We're just chilling. It's the end of the night. I'm I'm fried as always. I didn't drive so hot most of the day, but oh, towards the end of the stream, we got some excellent tandems in. Doesn't slap train do that with the stock 350Z? Um, it's smart. Yeah. Get uh, get something cheap and and keep it simple. I mean, like, my car sounds complicated, but honestly, I can I can go most of an event on one set of tires if I drive it carefully. Uh, and it's still fun. So, that's kind of what I do. Instead of thinking of my dream car and building my dream car, I think of my budget and I build to my budget. And that way, like, I've known guys that have cars that they go through 8, 10, 12 tires in an event, and then they can't afford to drift anymore. Like for a couple of months because they just dropped like fifteen hundred two thousand dollars on tires in like one day silly oh. I'll have to cover more stuff on uh, must, must buys for drifting and stuff later dudes but I mean in a nutshell like get a decent chassis welded diff coilovers are nice angle kits nice you don't have to have either um, Bucket seat's nice. That's about it. <laughs> Where wouldn't I want to drift, right? I mean, especially now with the sim drifting, man, there's people watching the channel from Australia, the UK, Norway, Sweden, Finland, like... I want to... There's drifting in all those spots. I want to visit all these places. And uh, ideally, you know, like a total freaking cheapskate, have somebody let me borrow their car and I promise I won't trash it. And I won't. If... if Headphones went to sleep again because they're not playing any sound, so they think I'm not using them. You know, like, I can slide people's cars without hurting them. Oh, it'd be so much fun. Maybe someday. If, uh, if somebody wants to, you know, have me at an event, I, I will make an effort to get out to you. I just need, like, time to schedule it. And if it's out of the country, time is, like, six months or something, like, a long amount of time. But, anyway, that's it, dudes. Gentlemen and ladies, the like three girls that will watch this channel. What's up, chicks? <laughs> but uh, anyway, y'all have a wonderful night. Matt says, kind of glad I have an MX-5 for when I finally get on track. Tires, fuel, and maintenance will be cheap as shit, dude. You're right. That car, you can run a set of tires for like two events. It's good stuff. All right, folks, hit like, subscribe, do all the things. Find a car friend of yours who is into drifting that doesn't know what my channel is and share one of my good videos. Like, not a stream. They're not going to get into it from a stream. But show, share, like, my Ebisu Toge course video or something. Go, my people. Help me build the channel. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night, dudes. I appreciate all you. Peace.